Okay, I'm going. Starting a little early. And I have no idea which side of the room is mine. <laughs> um. Yeah, I don't know. Where is Morgan? Look at those things. I am going to jump into the bonfire. Morgan doesn't like the bed. She didn't sleep here. She fucking slept in her bed. Get Morgan to sleep in a bed. Wait, hold on. Morgan, which one is your bed? I have no clue which side is mine. Here, I got you. Let me just quickly run over back here. Because I have absolutely no clue. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> so this side is mine, which means that one would be yours. Oh, okay. Hey, I got a desk. Hey, fancy. Yeah, you got a desk. Hey. Against me. <laughs> you have things? No way. Oh, yeah, yes way. Come and have a look if you I don't believe me. <laughs> look, I have a Ain't fucking no desk. You I got a fucking shit? desk. That's not fair. Yeah, look at all the shit I didn't know I owned. <laughs> Good fact. Damn. Shit. That's not fair. I ain't got shit. My <laughs> captain's got so much shit over on his side, and then my side's completely barren. It's great. <laughs> Get some shit, bro. <laughs> oh. <laughs> bro, I'm poor. What do you mean? It sounds like skill issue. Oh, nothing. <laughs> my parents are dead. They leave me any fucking money. <laughs> the only thing I have to my name is this fucking sword. Oh, which you want to get rid of? But you have like three gold pieces. You can buy new stuff. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> buy what on this island? There's fucking nothing to buy. And it's also, fine. Yeah, I'm just gonna start the crafting sword, division. Sword from my oh fuck! <laughs> low key abusive guardian. <laughs> oh, sleep at peace. Okay. Um. What the fuck do we do? Uh, Emma doesn't sleep. Probably had like a power nap or something. <laughs> More can sleep outside. I'm sorry. Okay, either way, I'm gonna go to and uh, Aries is not here, so I'm I'm by myself today. Shit. Oh, I took up all my clothing. Oh well. <laughs> Doing that. <laughs> Much better. Were you outside? Yes, I was tending to the garden. Shirtless? Don't, don't judge me. I, I'm, I'm not judging. I'm sure I'm just questioning, but you do you. <sighs> oh, fuck, I'll miss this right there. Could be worse. Could have gone out there in just underwear. That's true. At least you kept your pants and your shoes. So that's a, at least something. Yeah. Something. <sighs> oh, fuck. Uh, morning. I think. Uh, morning. Cold. And Morgan was outside looking yeah, at the garden. Did you not wear anything? Do oh, wear pants geez. and shoes. Well, I meant like action. Nope. It's Morning, cold. Tara. Outside. Morning. Morning, it's very cold outside. I'd recommend you wear your gambesons. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> no mind. It's storming outside. Yes, we have a blizzard uh, coming in. Shit. shit. It's uh, actually more intense outside uh, the barrier I had. Uh, <laughs> what the fuck do I have to do? Uh, We're fine. It's fine. I cannot see shit. So it's like. Hey. So what do I do for today? In oh shit, Bombadil's not here today. Fuck. Uh. You can tell me about the lock from last time. I can. Fuck. 
I could talk with the investor. But I don't have shit to say. He would probably more interested in Varus. Hey, the Fedora, the Ferraris. And they're wearing those scarves. They wear little face covers. Wow. Warning. Wow. Do you need help to get to the castle? Wow. Wow. Well, the door is right there into the infirmary. You can get through there to get out of the storm. Wow. 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 Get inside. God, they are cute. They are really cute. Fuck, I walked the wrong way! I was gonna take, like, the short way. But I did not because I can't see shit. I should probably wear my face cover or something. I don't have my breath on. I need to fix these toggles real bad. Ugh. I'm not do that when I fix my weapons. <laughs> Emma, the unarmed. Ow. Oh shit, I don't have a plan. Um, I can most likely probably remove the box already, a long time ago. Bondel's not here. Um, I don't know what the fuck to do. Actually, you know what, fuck it. That the pistol. And I'm not taking a portal. Gonna have dum dum in. I was supposed to go out running with the feral. One. Not in this fucking weather. And two. I don't think any of us wanna. Focus on fucking running right now. Oh, it's gonna be a uh, no run today. Well, a little run today, you know. I probably took the longest possible way around here. <laughs> Oh uh, no. <laughs> Episode 2 everybody. Can't even fucking figure out the way around the campus no more. <laughs> okay, this looks right. The forbidden hot dog. Now I'm sad that I don't have my ukulele on my... No, not ukule ukulele? My kalimba. Aren't we missing a grape? Oh yeah, we're definitely missing a grape. Or maybe they just haven't put anything on Skyhead's grape yet. Oh no. <sighs> I 
like a rough moon. You were strict, but you always had my back. I'm, I'm very much not religious. Never was. Never grew up in that. If anything religious confuses me. All the thing about God and... Or goddesses and gods and... And so bar. Always confusing me. And that's something I was brought up with when I was younger. But at least mom taught me well. Show respect for the deaf. That was rough. This game was kind of the end that Emma wished she had. Go the end that she already has really fucked her up. <sighs> Even if they had a really, really rough beginning with like the whole. Oh, you gotta be from. You gotta educate yourself. And Emma just not taking any of that shit. They they came around. They really did. And they, when things were not going well with Ventus, she Skate always had her back. Even with the incident with her, <laughs> with the fake poisoning, and. Uh, <laughs> Uh, then, then when that was a thing, even Skate was like, "Oh, if you actually fear for your life, I got a bed for you." See, no one had a uh, arm stretched out for him. God, it makes me sad now, and I feel like Emma should have done more back because you know that everyone who comes here gonna fight. And we probably all gonna die on the battlefield. But still, God sucks. But for now, all you got is a mission. Gonna find out what the fuck happened to that lock. At least it'll probably take that hard stomach feeling that she so kind of feel responsible for. The lock going open. Even if people tamper with it. And it was had nothing to do with her. It's still like kind of that stomach feeling that. Uh, she should have looked at least one more time. Just like just before they got to land. Just when she got out of bed or whatever. Just like take a quick look. See. Oh the lock is Gucci. Uh, the chains are Gucci. You not know just safety. But she did not. Oh, it sucks. Oh, maybe we can head over to the boat later. I can teach you how to tie some knots and such. You seemed interested. I... Yeah, yeah, I... That, that sounds fun. I'll be there. Of course. Stay warm. I, cool. I, you too. Cool. Good morning, cool. Solid. Cool, 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 cool. cool. Cold, huh? Oh, Solis, you're covered. <sighs> Not hitting the inside. Barely at least. Was it probably too high? A lighthouse at the dock area. Perhaps we could take shelter there if it needs be for the time being. And mm. then we can have that conversation there. 
Only to keep Again, I would not. Come on, you bitch. That is true. In indoors, maybe. Why don't we have an indoor training area? Do we? Why do we need an indoor training area when we have a perfectly good outside one? I think they're called classrooms. Oh, man. You made it? Uh, yeah, you're dealing with a child. Child. Not, I don't want to be not too bad, actually. Oh, How about you? That's oh, good. Don't, don't look good. I'm good. Not a snowman yet, so was I. Uh, uh, don't be one, you'd be an awful snowman. You and your fire. What's the worst that happens? He poisons uh, half of my organs. Excuse me. Just one organ being poisoned is enough, though. In your potatoes? It's not like a ratio <laughs> thing, Val. Ah, uh, yeah. What if the poison's flames on the street? Remember, if you eat them first, you can take away the taste by eating the meat. You have flaming poison. That doesn't help. It just wasn't. <laughs> right, but I can sit fast. I'll do it with you. Okay. Not that bad. I just have to keep telling myself it gets this cold at night. Except it's a lot colder. I guess so. Mm. Mm. Yeah, stuff's happening in the dorms. We're not waiting by the farm this morning because, you know, fuck that. Uh, sounds good to me. In case you didn't. Gonna turn my ears into popsicles. Grow on myself. Out in the forest and stuff like that. Nothing like this though. This is underestimate how cold it get in the academy. Yeah, you think well, so, um, you how was your morning? Why do we not have uh, in here? No, the same, I guess. Well, <laughs> Morgan was outside, shirtless. So that was a thing. Shirtless? Why? I don't question it. Because you have to put on a shirt to do gardening. That's my thing. Because it's called? Sarcasm. Sarcasm. <sighs> the greenhouse is warm. Our marshals keep me warm. I guess so. Well, that would be nice. My heat, magical fertilizer and such muscle keeps everything nice and warm and growing. <laughs> Better than everywhere else. Uh, almost. I went on a morning run. I almost froze to death. You didn't fly off. Why? <laughs> hmm? Uh, sit out with... There's no pain, no gain. That's what Caden says. Mm. Mm. I kind of like potatoes. What's wrong? I'm going back to the dark. Oh, I refuse to comment. Delicious. This is why I was with the sun. Sound good. Mm. I suppose now they're just frosted over here. Yes? Well, everyone seems really quiet today. Is something happening I don't know about? No, no. It's, uh, it's cold. It's, um, that too. Have a bit of Just cold. I guess it makes sense. I was today I was like the other so far in my travels. Been here the well, hopefully we can still get some training in. I really wanted to see that girl, the new girl spell. As well as I think the new girl. Yeah, oh yeah, right, Isabella. Right. That's her name. Uh, or is it uh, Isabella? Um, yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> Terra's <laughs> <laughs> full, isn't it? Oh, what? Wait, it's a pretty late night. Team Terra, they've got six people now, right? Yeah, yeah with me. Uh, when I joined in, uh, it, it got full, yeah. Gotcha. So Lumen needs two, Umber needs one, and then... Is it Ignis that needs one? Uh, oh, yeah, Ventus. Ventus? Yeah. Sure, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah, pretty cold. Oh, it's the abominable snowman. I knew he was real. That's just Mertash. Um, perhaps. It was a joke. Look at Perhaps of the dormitory. I think it's cold out. Oh, right. I almost likely still have the warmest of the warmest. Please don't laugh. It just makes it worse. 
stage, have a small word with I'm just kidding. Are you laughing at? I might have to push it back. Nothing. Okay. So be sure to give it Man. Excuse me, ma'am. Actually, cold out there, huh? It's joyous. Yeah. Actually, I think there were two words. It's my fifth. That's the saying. It's supposed to clear up in a few days, though, right? Hopefully. I, I hope so. I don't know how long it's supposed to be cold. I'm not very good at the weather. The weather. The weather. The weather. I assume it'll get better. Not just freeze forever. I mean. That's winter. I said up. It's cold. Yeah. I was really liking the snow the first couple days, and now that I've gotten used to it, kind of less like, oh, hey, Philia. Because I'm going to keep these. Come sit with us. Got to get used to snow. It's going to be there for a long time. Hope. Yeah, that's true. Can't wait for spring, though. I heard you can make buildings out of snow. Yeah, snow globes. And snowmen. Snow fortress. Those are buildings? No, I'm just making an example. But considering actually working with Val, perhaps I'm more than a fool. Good morning, everyone. It's, uh, like, what, like, like what type of buildings? I don't know. Only well, me either. Hey, real about quick, it. ma'am, you want to move cows to the warehouse? Right? Warehouse? What? 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 Help? Yeah. Yesterday. Uh, move, move cows? Yeah. I mean, we can. Yeah, we go. I've always wanted to touch the cows again. I'm yeah, fucking sorry. When we, were, when we had were sick or something, I don't remember what it was. I wasn't allowed to touch the no, cows. We got, we got to move the cows to the warehouse so they don't die in the cold, and we and we, and we Linville doesn't get more mad at us. Isn't that where the unsorted okay. sleep? Um, cuddle buddies. No, I mean, it'll probably it'll probably upstairs. be a lot warmer with the cows in there. So, oh, it's true. Hopefully, the cows are safe. At least with the cold. Yes, yeah, so we're, we're about to move him to the warehouse. <laughs> I told you, I want to move some cows to the warehouse. Man, I sure want to move oh. some cows to the warehouse. Okay, let's do it. Yeah. We already got the rabbits upstairs for the winter. I know, I know. They said to us the other day. Hi, Falari. I'm just waiting. There's a Fadari. I would have cried. Who would have been all of you? I miss the Madari. Look at Satan. Let's move cows. If any, we got to go now. If you're not busy, of course. Oh, shit. Yeah, sure. You want to move cows? You want to move cows? More Dory over there. Yeah, I'll leave. 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 Yeah, I'll leave
Tied around the cow. Is he trying to lift the cow? Ah. Hello, you. Yeah. Go put your head down, you. Yeah, you fucking idiot. I'm throwing a lady at you. It's okay, Betsy. Go to the warehouse. Good old Betsy. All right. Be good. And we're not going to eat you. We're not going to eat you anyways, because I think you're more valuable you if you have breed first. I don't know. I'm not really sure what we're doing with them. I'm not sure. Uh, it's a cow, so we're milking them, I guess. Maybe we need to lure it. Hey, we need you to move so you don't die of frostbite. Uh, hey, come on, Betsy. Good, go. Yeah, he. That's the worst place to stand. That and directly behind them. I've done both of them already. Here. Yeah, it just moves. This feels pretty safe to stand. Uh, yeah, drop my leg. Get kicked uh, my foot. Nuts. Why is Emma Brian well, a cow? Why? <laughs> do this. Cause I can, Mordred. Good job, you're natural. Yeah, uh, ride that cow. Well, sure, we could ride like a horse. Come on, Betsy. Come on. Yeah. Let me try. Uh, Luca, you, you sure you know how to ride that? <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> But how hard can it be? Well, first of all, you should probably know. actually sit on it. You're kind of just holding on to it with your legs. Well, yeah. So? You, you gotta actually sit on it like a horse, Luca. Uh, like a horse? Don't worry, Gallop. I'm, we'll be okay. Uh, just take a break and we'll get the cows in a minute. All right. Uh, all right, I'm alive. I wasn't for a second, but I'm here. All right. <laughs> No, you're, don't worry. You're just taking a little break. Come on. Oh. Yeah, no, I'm ready. Uh, I take a break. All right. Get it up. We're gonna move here. Okay. Bring it to the Get up. Okay, I think. Okay, that one. They got that Are you one. taking it? You two like. Oh, they got one. So it's just like uh, horseback riding. A horseback riding date for you two. Or? <laughs> sure. What? Oh, oh, you got that one. Okay. We've got All right. Cows. All right. Okay. Come on. Uh, yeah. uh. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, let's go. Come, come on. Come, no. I'll, I'll, I'll guide to, you. Okay. Come on. To the side. Is there any cows left? Oh, no. We got one cow there. Okay. We got... Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Pa, pa, pa. Come on. Oh. oh, 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 oh ba, 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 ba. Ba, ba, ba. Do you want me to, me to ride a cow? Is this cow still here? Is that cow still here? Which cows are still here? Oh god, I'm having a seizure. Okay, can, can I decide if I'm gonna crash or not? That would be great. If I get on this... So what, do I just, do I just, hold on. Okay. <laughs> hey, if I get on this... So what, do I just, do I just, hold on. Okay. <laughs> in front of his face. And then it'll fall. Uh, this is so. See. Multiply. Okay. Don't worry, Emma. Get away, house. Emma. Does hey. Emma's gone? Do I go? Am I alive? I can't tell. Who? Basically, it's rough on me. <laughs> I think so. I think the cows tried to eat some of our products. I don't know. I'm busy. Please don't let her eat that food. I'm trying. <laughs> it's really hard. Come on. Come on, busy. Come on. Good busy. Good busy. Got your bad horns. Ooh. Okay, oh, we turn it! Why the- It like handlebars, Mordred! I'm not busy. 
There you are. Go on. I'm dying. She's so rough on me. Come on, Betsy. Come on. Okay. Oh, how are we gonna? Okay. Okay, turn it, Betsy. What? You alright? Yeah. I like to say it's not my first rodeo, but it actually is my first rodeo. <laughs> Good busy, good busy. I really hope nothing bad happens on the way there, Emma. Like what? Okay, busy turn. Oh no, too soon, too busy. Where about? I'll get you that. I'm fine. <laughs> what do you do with that? This is why you need some food. Oh, you're using food? What? Yeah. Wait, what are you using? My handlebars. Okay. But I think, honestly, mostly just attracted to your food might just be that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh, just make sure it... If you get... If it starts turning out or, you know, going the wrong way, uh. bring it back or let me know. Hey, so far, so good. How's it going? Oh, oh, <laughs> I just oh. take a longer oh, path. Oh. oh, sorry. I didn't... It's okay. Oh. <laughs> what happened, Murtesh? I thought so you rode these like on a daily. Why did it try to eat no, your food? I wasn't Betsy, allowed stop to it. touch the cows. No. Bye, Betsy. Bye, Betsy. Bye, Betsy. Don't eat this. Oh, I'm so Betsy. cold, Mertes. I know, I'm freezing. Maybe we should take a shortcut. Oh, maybe we should go a little faster. Come on, Betsy. Oh. Ah, go. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Careful, Mertes. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh, oh. It's okay. Come on, calm down, Betsy. Okay. Calm down. And then we turn. I'm Whoa! No, I'm gonna Whoa! Easy a second. Oh, careful! Cat on the route! Cat on the route! That's a good Betsy. That's a good Betsy. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna get nice and warm inside real soon. And we're turning. Whoa! That's a good Betsy. There it is. Thanks. There yeah, we go. Emma. Emma, what? who's regarding it? Emma. What? You're supposed to guard it with the lead. What well, now? I'm taking it by the handles. Woo! Come on. It's fine. I got it by the handlebars. Right, there we go. All right. Oh, that's a good open. Stop a room here. Okay, okay. Right, yeah. There you go, Bessie. Get yeah. There we go. All right. <sighs> all right. You, you didn't have a rope at all or nothing, did you? No, I talked by the handlebars. Oh, there, those, those aren't handlebars. Those are just horns. Oh, here, yeah, but when you're riding it, they're handlebars. All right, hold on. <laughs> There's probably a rope in there. Uh, you bet. <sighs> Good old Bessie. Ah, uh, fuck, what's the lasso knot? What's the fucking, the one with the... What? It's a square knot. It's really simple. Hold on, I gotta tie the right knot for it. Hold on. Let me put the... Let me do it like that. Ramp it around. Alright, cool, great. No, let go. There you go, boy. Let go. Let, let go. Hey, I'm just gonna tie it to this table. Hey. Where do I... Where do I... Where do I put him? Just leave him here? Uh, him? It's a her. Uh, this place really is an interest, uh, I'll put him over here. Come on. Come on, you. Yeah, there's a bit of a hole oh, in the room. Oh, God, be careful. Why? That was not bad. Oh, yeah, All definitely. Right. All right. No. Oh. Okay. Watch out, Murtash. Oh, fuck. Oh, that was that. Is that all of them? I'm... Not sure. So. <laughs> hmm. I was tied we riding that cow. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that should be. They brought in two. Fun. They brought in three. Yeah, so we're good. Yeah. Okay. Good, because I don't think That's I could good. afford to ride another cow. <laughs> I'd just die. <clears throat> well, back out of the cold, I guess. Uh, Mertes, well, it, it's a very well, slippery right now. So it's fine. What do you mean slippery? I'm, 
<laughs> hey. Hi. Sorry. Yeah, I told you it was slippery. Hey, sorry. Yeah, yeah thank you. you. You're good. All right. That was weird. All right. All right. Uh. Being a terror, I think. <sighs> Get inside. Well, that was <laughs> that was Bing. <laughs> Crazy little house. Oh, actually, is there something new? Wait, what? Oh, hold on a day, minute. In the located on the outskirts of the present by Google, this is very close to the borders of it. Means a difference between. Okay, since then, that's the investor dude. I just went into the same thing for the bit this time. Since then, that's the end of my group to fire and fighting. Uh, I just went to the bit of the bit of the back of the family as a bit. So to relocate. Relocate the dune. It's painful. The word that I keep saying wrong. Same as I'm leading for the bit. Face. Fire follower? The, oh, oh women power, okay. For the bravery and commitment, it's an expansion. This one is a lot of the trick on this. Mm hmm. Shit. I just should have, shit is coming closer. Super weapon! Hold on a day, a minute! No, no, I gotta focus. It was a thing of terror, I think. Hey, you a super weapon? <laughs> nice. A pocket? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> uh, is this? Oh, yep, that's her. Found you. Hi. Hey. Oh, welcome back. Where's everybody else? <sighs> Uh, very question. Yeah, because I know we were having a meeting thing over here, but I was busy uh, riding a cow, so you know. Should have been there, that was fun. You were what? Yeah, we had to take the cows from the farm and into. <laughs> literally into the barn or the storage ward house where the, stu the unsorted students are. And the easiest way to do it was ride them, so most of us were riding the cows away. It was great. Poor and sorted. They're gonna be smelling manure. Yeah, but they get some warm cuddle buddies, you know. You're right. They do get warm cuddle buddies. Hmm? It'll also just give them more incentive to join a team. Yeah. Well, it shouldn't be so long, should it? Oh. Aaron? Hey, you are, Morgan. Morning. Hi. Came back here. Hi. Cold. Also was drawing a schematic for the crafting team. Oh. Um, Octavian said he wanted to meet us in a few minutes at the training grounds. Uh. Understood. Guess we're going back outside. Uh, let's <sighs> head over there then. Let me design my shoes, because I don't want them to uh, undo themselves in the track back. That's fair. I'm pretty sure I was... Oh wait, no, I don't wear shoes, what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, you don't wear shoes. How are your feet doing your feet? with the cold? I don't know, it's just always yeah. been like that. It's just... I don't feel much. I figured your paw pads would be freezing. 
I'm normally not too bad, but after the whole acid attack we were going through, I, I can feel it a little bit more than usual. But uh, besides that, it's, it's not too bad. A little chilly. I consider, I consider socks. No, don't. We do not go there. Area? We don't go there, no. Ivan. We don't go there. I feel like there's something I missed. <sighs> that, wait, why'd you turn it off? Because I we're leaving. We need to see. Back to the turn. Yeah, but it's yeah, for when. That's for the orb. Yeah, when people are in here, but we are not in here. I'm gonna lose where the dorm is. Yeah, but it's supposed that's to be on sure. when when people are in there. I don't pay attention to rules like that. Mm. That exist. I'm on a thing. Um. Well. Interesting. It's their second interesting. run. Enjoy. Just a teammate. They unsorted, trying to find teammates. It's fine. It is fine. We are again walking the long fucking way. Oh. You said the, the, the arena? Yes. Uh, in the arena, or just the training grounds? The, the training grounds. He's He should be waiting outside. Alright. <gasps> <laughs> I still hate that thing. Oh, um, Emma? What? Could it be worse? Uh, do you think you could wait for us um, at the auditorium? We'll be back in a, hopefully a few minutes. Oh, it's, it was just you two. Yes. Oh. Oh. What the hell did I go through the- I'm- Now I'm going into Aphotech, I need to work something out. Right, thank you. Well, I, I thought it was all of us! <laughs> Damn, okay. Oh, then I went through the portal and everything! God damn it! Emma does like the portals. It feels like her insides have been scrimbled about. I fucking twist the game. Fucking Rubik's Cube my fucking organs about. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me. <sighs> oh. All oh, right, I, I said it too. <laughs> when I set my settings to low, things tend to disappear a little bit for me. But it was that or dying on that cow. Oh. Keep scaring me when things spawns in. I only thought Vel was gonna be here. Yep. Everything keep disappearing from me. Oh no. Oh, okay. Table. I'm sorry. I cannot see shit. <laughs> okay. So what I wanna do... They do not have tape. Ah, oh, gonna. I'm just gonna use this in here. And I've taken some stuff to draw with. <laughs> Guys, I wanna upgrade my gun. Might as well do that while trying to find my. Oh god, everything's keep disappearing. Okay, nope. Um. Just changing that to medium again. And if I start dying again, then I guess I'll watch stuff disappear. Uh, good, 
pen. <laughs> God damn it, Val. Doesn't even fucking clean up around here. <sighs> I didn't even dealt with the fucking cannon. Should I? Hey, you know what? For the funsies. Whoop! I don't know who that is. I can't hear it. God, the walls are so thin! Okay, thinking. And now I have an Ava Tech gun. Big boy. The long bastard. I want to be able to take my gun. And take the canister. Where the Ava right is. Where all the, the magic, the, the, the whole, the heart of the machine. I want to be able to take that out plug up the tubes that makes the apparite go about and then I want to be able to use actual fire on not fire actual bullets what are you doing up here I don't know what else to do, so now I'm working. Uh, on your project? On what project? Uh, is there any detect division not doing any project at the moment? Uh, not what I heard of. I was actually thinking in the reverse. Maybe something I see. Uh, mm. I'll just leave you to it then. Um, okay. God, every time I look at his avatar, the, the fucking cloak he's wearing is exactly the ones we're fucking selling, or I have we fucking put away in my fucking, in my work, in my workshop. God, we had so fucking many, but we had to <laughs> pack up because summer's coming. Summer is coming in real life. Okay, um, take out the canister. And then be able to use actual bullets. Or actual ammunition not used with magic. So that way I don't use up all my magic when actually f fighting um, normal people. Gotta really, really want to avoid getting back to my sword if I can. Stop off and so leg, unlucky. <laughs> um, shit. I don't know what. I mean, the the captain's done talking. I know. Oh, they're going to talk. Son. Son. I. Sorry, very fast. I cannot. I. I am not. I need to take my hair off because I can't hear shit. I keep hearing weird shit around here. Things keep getting more hectic. However, in the span of twenty minutes, I have a lot of fucking information. There we go. Got to keep warm. Well, I say as I take off my warm clothing, but either way. Okay. I'm losing track of Ford. So I have my gun. I have that. So if I can just detach the whole if right thingy. Would I even need to plug up? That would be a good idea. It just a little bit more convenient than, uh. Yeah. Oh god. I need to pretend I'm not hearing anything. God damn it. Okay, um... 
I should probably, in some sort of way, be able to clog up all the tubes. Just for safety reasons, so nothing gets in the tube while I'm not actually using them. Hmm. So I could, I could remove the thing. And I could probably have a connected. God, how many what? I had either two or three wi uh, wires thingies on it. So if we can just get like a connected thing, they'll like close it down. Like squeeze it to close it. With like something. Mm, I don't know. I had to think about that. Got the thing. I'm not smart. Emma! She knows her stuff. She knows what she's doing. But me? I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay, let's just grab that for now. Tubes. I'll, I'll put that to the side. But first, the canister needs to be able to come off. That should not be too much of a problem. Or... Would it be better to keep the canister on? And then just... We're taking back the tubes. We're taking back the tube. We're keeping the canister on. And then cut off the two. So, do you usually sit in classrooms by yourself, or is this kind of a weird brooding moment? Nah, I didn't know what else to do. And last time I checked, we don't have chairs over there. And I'm working on something. Oh? What are you making? I want to do something with my gun. I want to be able to close off the Aether right uh -huh. on my gun, so I can use normal firearm on it. That way I don't use up all my mana. Huh. In battle. So like, going from magic gun to normal gun? Yeah, kind of like a switch or something. That's what I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. Ah. Gotcha, I'm getting real smart at this Aether text. All right, uh, hmm. Well, let's see. You'd have to like, well, are the bullets any different? Would you have to just have like a separate ammo? Thingy majig, you know, you kind of shove the little square things in the thing. Do you need like a different one of them? Well, so far I do have the thing, but I'm not using it because I'm closing it off. I'm using tubes to get the Aetherite to do its thing with the magic. And therefore have it shut out. So hmm. where the ammo should actually could be used, I probably I have closed off. So that's where I thought that maybe if I could take the canister hmm. off with the Aetherite, then I could uh, reuse the hold to the ammo. Hmm. I see, I see. Hmm. I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I don't really get it, but it sounds <laughs> pretty cool. <laughs> it's fine. It's just something I've been thinking about. Hmm. Because I really, well, uh, I really used up my you mana maybe put, You want to put that on hold maybe for a little bit? We probably have to head back to Terradome for a little because we'll be getting the meeting notes for whatever it is. I want to oh. say they probably stay out the cold, but... Oh, finally. Because I went down there thinking that uh, I missed the meeting, but then uh, Morgan and uh, Ivy and they got uh, called over to the training, uh, training ground and I was not invited, by the way. So I assumed that it might have happened. <sighs> yeah. So yeah. That's some other business. I can tell you on the way there, but it's uh, it's not as good as you might think it is. Oh shit! What they do? Yeah. Well, uh, well I should probably let you know this, considering it's probably good for more people to know. But I don't know if you're aware, but Ivian sometimes uses occult magic. Uh, oh yeah, that was uh. Up recently and. Uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. that, that was like bad magic, right? Yeah, it's the the evil stuff. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's the pretty yeah, scary stuff that kind of destroys everything that it touches. Uh. So it's not great. Okay. And Morgan, being the caring person she is, if slightly insane, mm -hmm. uh, decided to take it upon herself. Whew. 
to try and learn alongside Ivy and a cult, so I don't have to walk down the path alone, but uh, the risky thing with that is that leads to more people, and, but, you know, I'll, I'll explain when we get into the dorms, where it's all, just, just in case there's a yeah, certain good. someone, <clears throat> you know, money man listening. Oh. Yeah, God, right now it just sounds unnecessarily okay, confusing. Okay. Yeah, I, I can explain in a bit. Hang on, I'll get you. Yeah, when we get back to dorm, I'll explain. I've learned a whole lot of magic through Ectaris and all the others, so I kind of get mm. it now. I right, go around okay. learning magic, I learn religions. Good morning, souls. Mm. Hail time. <laughs> Alright, Emma, I'm gonna run to the teleporter because I'm not gonna walk through you this because fuck the cold. Are you ready? I'm not you taking the teleporter friends. because fuck that. The but I'm gonna run. Friends. The other two are, you know, doing the meeting thing. Oh, well. Oh, really? Oh. I, well, I'll see you at Terradorm then because. <laughs> Don't die, Solas! <laughs> You got it, Solas! Got it! You got it! You got it! I don't think he got it. Not full fledged with the cold, but I'm surviving because I got my fur and I got my speed. I'm not gonna die. Did he actually get it? I actually don't know. <laughs> I can never, for the life of me, remember the colors. Which is an out of character reason why I don't use the portals. <laughs> In character reason, I just don't, don't like them. Oh. Ignis is up to something. Whew. Whew. Hey, you didn't die! Uh, oh yeah, no. Uh. You don't fire up. Uh, uh, oh, uh, no, can't use magic. Uh, uh, you know, I'll explain as well that in a second. Give me, hang on. Oh, boo. Uh, it's almost easier when you can just like uh, flick fire. I know, uh, trust me, it's gonna be bad for us in the long run though if I do that. Hi. <sighs> All right, uh, magic 101. Let me give you a few lessons about stuff. Uh, ooh, you know, let me ooh. explain about this first so we don't accidentally get ourselves in danger in the future because this is a pretty important lesson. So, the fire magic thing most people think, oh, I could just, you know, set myself on fire, use it to warm myself up. Well, magic, when it comes to any sort, is gathered from either one of two places the world around us. Or internally. That's what you do when you have an affinity. Uh, the kind of thing where, you know, you're good at it and you can kind of just make it. Like, I've got a fire affinity, so I can just kind of figure out how to use fire pretty easily. All right. Thing is, at the moment, there's not a lot of heat around. The very little there is, you know, I can use. But if I do that, it's going to make it drop even colder in the nearby area. Meaning, if I were to set that on fire using fire magic... It'd be warmer there, but just about everywhere else in this room, it'd be a whole lot colder. It doesn't really balance out and doesn't warm up the place. Uh, Not worth it. Okay. And then, the other place, internally, I'd be fueling it the entire time. Which means, you guys would be keeping warm, but eventually I ate threes to death, though. You know. Uh, magic fire, really not worth risking in that sense. So, magic funky bad. Okay. Uh, that, that that makes sense, right? You, you got that? I guess. Hmm, how can I... Just imagine that fire magic requires heat, and, and it needs to take heat from somewhere. So it either takes it from the air, which has got warmth in it, even if at the moment it's got very little, or it takes it from myself. And that's basically just it. Uh, okay. And I imagine it's kind of the same for other affinities, like... With water, I imagine you probably take the water out of the sky... 
and if it's a affinity, then you probably take it from your own body, so you might become really, like, dehydrated afterwards. It's that kind of stuff. It's pretty simple once you get it. Uh, I guess. Right. Oh, and then, okay, so the the occult stuff. So that's pretty bad because it's not natural, but not in the normal sense of, like, Wait, it's not natural in the normal right. way. So what? occult bad because it's a non-natural energy being created that simply just destroys. Okay. It doesn't leave anything behind. You know, even if I were to kill something using fire, I could turn it to ash. But that, what was the example? That returns to the earth, which then grows plants and kind of has this whole like cycle of life thing going on. Oh, yeah, yeah. It all kind of like loops back around. So like, you know, it makes something else. A cult, as far as I'm aware, just removes everything. The second you're hit with a cult, that part of you is just deleted. Gone. Nada. Funfnap. So, if you were to kill someone using it, there's nothing left. So... No body, no remains, just... Poof. Um... That sounds like the weirdest fucking magic trick I ever heard. <laughs> right. But then the issue comes with the affinities. Uh, there's these schools and stuff of all the magic stuff. So, you know how sometimes when I do my fire magic, my hair starts glowing red and my eyes glow red, and I usually set myself on fire shortly after. Oh yeah, I I I remember that day. I think I did something similar when my hands turned into ice or something. Mhm. Mm well, that's called a resonance. It's something you get usually with an affinity. It's kind of a showing of your magic. For me, the red hair and red eyes are showing that I'm pushing mana f uh, fire magic through my body. And because I have a fire affinity, it's a lot more uh, potent, I guess, than other people's. If it's not an affinity of yours, you might get maybe your hand might glow a little bit or maybe a strand of hair. But because I've got the whole, you know, fire basically is me going on, uh, a lot of more of me starts to change. The thing is, with affinities, is you kind of have to represent what that element is to obtain it. Fire is warmth, passion, strength, to stand out, to be bright, to, you know, not give up in adversity's way, to destroy all that would stand against you. And I like to think I'm pretty cool like that, so, you know, it all matches me perfectly because I'm just so amazing and, uh, oh, this is a weird bit. Anyway, uh, more importantly... A cult is, in all, you know, to keep it short, evil. So, Ivian to is evil. To be a cult is to... Well, not yet, I don't think. Yet? But the problem is that the more you train it, the more you build an occult... Uh, cult? Uh, the more you build an affinity for it. It's like, the more you practice something, the better you get. So the more your body uses the element, the more your body changes typically to become it. So he also you know, go like, poof? You know, like, if you... Oh, no, no. But the thing is, is that to have an occult affinity, some of the things that describe it are evil, malicious. Basically, every bad word you can think of to describe a person fits under the occult kind of subgenre. Uh... And that's where the worry lies. If he keeps using it, he might develop an affinity. At that point, that means he's fundamentally changed as a person. And becomes An affinity evil. developing is a pretty big thing. On a very basic level, yes. I, uh, yeah. And of course, I don't think all occult users are evil. Uh, and Jeel, I think, has got an affinity, and they seem, you know, rather sweet from what I've talked to them, and oh, every cool. time I've hung out with them, they've never seemed bad at all. Hmm. But... I don't know, I guess I'm just a little worried that... I don't want my friends to become some unfeeling monsters that destroy all that stand in their way, you know? I mean, isn't there that... There has to be lines that we set. In the way he's at the training ground now, so he use the the thing without being evil well, that's the thing you've got to be like evil intent to use it 
It's not something you just use on a normal basis. Because if you wanted to do something that dealt damage, you'd pick a different element. Like, yeah, you could just use fire like I do, or lightning, like Luca, or anything else. Nothing stopping you from picking a different element. It's just... People are going for a cult. I mean, secretly evil, it's confirmed. it's scary if they do that. So, because he chose this, he is technically evil. Not not yet, anyway. I, I don't know. This is confusing. I'm still not 100% on the details. I, yeah, I only started learning when I first got to the island. Ectaris has been a big help, but there's still a few details I think I'm missing. I just worry that if he keeps going down the path he's going down, he's going to become at least a lot worse of a person. And, now Morgan... and that's where the issue lies, that Morgan was brought along because they want to help them. But not in the sense of helping them stay kind or whatever. Well, that's the intention, but they want to help them by also learning a cult. Which is a slide down into a cult affinity, and it's all just kind of a snowball tumbling from there. So, what I'm hearing from this is... I mean, have evil infinity or evil magic thingy going on. Uh, Actaris is trying to help him work with that evil. Uh, Morgan also help work with evil by doing evil. Therefore, evil. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm getting at. Kind of. I think. Well, I think it's Octavian that's helping them do the training. I can't imagine Nexterus helping them with a cult training. I think oh, yeah. Octa that man has stated to me more than enough times that he hates it more than anything. Yeah, yeah, you, you know what I mean. Why is a teacher helping them being evil? Or doing evil magic? Well, I guess think of it like this. Um, would you rather someone just be evil, for, you know, without any guidance and just kind of set free a bunch of magic that can destroy just anything on... The smallest of scale to the point that it's removed, or would you rather have someone teach them to hopefully, in some chance, try and keep it under control? A chance to maybe prevent them from going further down a path they really shouldn't be. How fucking no soul of because right now you're telling me that this magic is overall just evil, so just doing the thing is just being evil, and he's going down a path of probably becoming even more evil. Yeah, that's kind of it. Don't don't make a big fuss about this in front of him. I, I don't think it's going to help, and I, I'm trying to steer them away a little bit if I can, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just being paranoid about it, and maybe I'm just thinking too much, but I don't, I don't want my friends to go down paths that are going to bring only more pain to themselves and others, you know? This kind of stuff's dangerous, and... I don't want it hurting them. <sighs> I'm sure it'll be uh, fine. Yeah, it'll 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 be fine anyway. It'll it'll work out. Uh, that's how things work out in the end for me anyway. I mean, yeah. And and you, I mean, you 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 know, you've got your Aethertech stuff coming up. How so? You've been working on that. Has Aethertech been? Working well for you? I mean, uh, I mean, it was, it was the only occupation I had at Venter, so you know, I'm 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 working on. Hmm. So, never had an interest in doing magic. And no, uh, never grew up with it. Never learned about it. So, hmm. never really. Uh, picked my interest, I guess, until I got here and was told, oh, that's the only way to deal with Rift Beast is magic. But yet still, I, here I am, only working on Apertech. Well, I guess you can just prove everyone wrong, then. Make that your entire point for working on stuff. I mean, okay, maybe, you know, think of a better reason to be working on Apertech than just spite, but you could start a point. Well, I'm not doing it out of spite. I'm doing it because I enjoy it, and I'm good at it. Hell yeah you are, you've got a gun going on. I don't even know how the fuck a gun works, let alone a magic gun. Mm hmm. I have it in my fingers. 
since I was a little baby, I had it in my fingies. Oh. Guess I had the same thing for fire magic then. Yeah, yeah, you got your I fire. I didn't actually use it till I was 18. Uh, I didn't actually think it was real either for the longest time. I was told about it in fairy tales and stories of great wizards casting oh, magical yeah. spells and clearing away villains of the land and all that kind of thing, and I loved it. But I never really thought it was real. I'd never seen it myself. And then... When I turned... Uh, 18... The, uh, the old man at the orphanage, he, um, brought me aside. He was planning to set me up for Rosewood. He's the reason I'm here, and... He said if I'm gonna go, I should learn something. And that's why I learned my first spell. This is funny, because it actually took me forever to figure out how to shoot a fireball. Uh, he never really gave me any good instructions other than just... What was it? Summon the fire in your hand and throw it. And then he left me for about a year to figure that out as I tried to desperately swing my arms around in the garden, hoping to God it set myself on fire. Until eventually... It just kinda worked. I guess it's just an old man thing. They just gotta be so cryptic. Uh, I know, right? I mean, first it's the damn guardian of mine at the orphanage, and now it's Acteris. I think they just give me a straight answer on anything, but no, it's always this and that, and always, you know, you kind of gotta gain the meaning through their words. It's like, why can't you just say what you're feeling? It's all that tough, is it? I mean, can you say how you're feeling? Well, what, what do you mean? I always, I always do that. No, I mean, like, really, really tell everyone. Like, uh, yeah, you're happy, but can you really tell and explain that happiness? Uh, well, I guess uh, I haven't really thought about explaining it, you know? Um, hmm. Yeah, because you feel a certain feeling, guess, and then you're associated with like, oh, this feeling, I'm feeling happy. But how do you know that you're actually feeling happy? You're just associating it with you feeling happy. Huh. I guess. But on the other hand, I think I kind of get when I'm happy, you know? There's like a lot of things in my life. There's a fire that's always burning inside me. Kind of like the fire here. And when I'm happy, it burns brighter. Like, I kind of feel it in here. It starts to warm up. It starts to rage a little brighter, a little harder. And there are other feelings that also share the same kind of pushing of the fire, but it's different, you know? Like, the fire's different. Like it's a different kind of fire, a different kind of feel to it. Almost like the joy is an oak log roasting on the fire, soft, calming and warming. When I'm angry, it's like throwing hot coals into it, stoking it quickly and making it burn so much brighter than it did before, but far less long term, a lot quicker. Does that make any sense? That's weird. Sorry, I kinda... No. Sounds like something out of a fairy tale I read. Nah, I am getting it. I guess it's just all those years at my aunt. She uh, believed that their feelings was a distraction. It would be easier not to just feel nothing. Just stone cold all the time. Hmm. On the one hand, I think I get that. Really? You know, it's scary feeling things. Well, yeah, but that's I what makes us spend times I wish I couldn't feel. Yeah, but feeling, you know, mm. it, you 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 want in? It's cold feeling. outside. <sighs> oh, is that the someone out there? Yeah. <laughs> You, oh, you, you, you can come in, the <clears throat> door's open, we have a fire going! You, you, you wanna come in? It's a little cold if you wanna come in by the fire for a little bit, come on! 
<laughs> Jeez. Watch yourself. Don't get too close. Hmm. Wait, what I'm saying, it's feeling kind of makes you who you are, you know? Like, you're always so happy and bubbly, you know? That's what we know you for. I mean... <laughs> someone's gonna be happy in this damn group. I swear half the time you're a lot of brooding or sitting by yourself somewhere. I mean, even you, sure, you were working hard, but by yourself? Well, what do you expect? Well, I don't sleep! Someone with you. <laughs> you gonna get some sleep. You just don't you like going into bed, tucking yourself in nice and warm, and just conking out for the night? I, I try, but then I'll get like maybe 30 minutes of sleep. And it's barely even sleep, it's just a fear of feeling. Have you mm. We live n like right next to each other. Have you never hear me screaming whenever I woke up? Or do you just sleep so soundly? Uh, well, you know, I'm kind of a heavy sleeper. That's probably why Morgan was out in the greenhouse. Probably done hearing me all night. Hmm. So, were the nightmares really that bad, then? <sighs> yeah. They are. And it's always the same thing. Hmm. Yeah. You know... I'm not sure if I can give great advice on this. Maybe the stuff you're dealing with is probably a lot worse than what I've dealt with. But I get nightmares pretty frequently as well. Uh... Every couple of nights, I'm reminded of the day I lost everyone. And I can see, you know, the fires, the screaming, telling me to run, all of it. And I'm, I'm small again, you know, like I was the kid I was back then. So I get it, you know, it's when you wake up, and... On the one hand, you're relieved it's a dream, but to relive it is <sighs> something I've learned works well. Is I focus on creating little stories for myself. Maybe it's not the greatest way to look at things, but considering I've spent so long obsessed with little stories of heroes saving the day ever since I was young. I make them up. I create little fantasies in my head of going out and saving the day and being the hero for everyone that they need. And sometimes just thinking about it enough as I fall asleep helps. It changes the dreams and the fire from being something scary and to be afraid of to something pleasant. Something that burns into something warm. Something that destroys into something it protects. I'm not really sure if that helps, but maybe think of something that makes you happy. Something that in the here and now you know can present you with happiness almost instantly. I mean, if that doesn't work, I suppose you could just think of Luca, though, couldn't you? Wait, what? <laughs> Please, you don't think I don't know? No, what? There's nothing to know. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's okay, honestly. What? I'll keep it secret. No need to worry, but... What? No. The... Please, you guys aren't the greatest at hiding it. H hiding what? There's nothing to hide. Oh, yeah? yeah? No, no, we just... A for tech buddies. We like A for tech. Really? I don't know. A for tech buddies don't usually kiss each other on top of... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you know. I'm sorry! sorry Captain. <laughs> hey. Mm. Where's the rest of Tara? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think both Ivy and Morgan are in the arena of Octavian right now, so they'll probably be back soon. Oh, oh Heat, so Octavian. Okay, well, I'll just debrief you and see if I can go through this accurately then. 
All right, so captain's meeting. Mm. Ivan was not there, so he does not know. Um, no, it was at the training ground. You okay, Emma? I'm great. Just continue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh. Um. So the first order of business is um. Uh. Okay. We have sensitive subjects here, but at the moment, uh. The chancellor is not feeling very comfortable with the fact that. It seems the boat in the dock has been sabotaged on the rudder. Um, I'm fucking sorry. There will be efforts made to repair this with crafting division. Um, in the in the following days, uh, uh, the chancellor suspects a sabotage because of this event, as well as we um, have a visitor from Lenvale. They trekked here through the blizzard, um, almost died doing so, but they came to seek our aid in bringing them the resources sources we have that have been feeding us lately because their storehouse has been burned um, through a, a tragic fire. The villager themselves uh, mentioned that they suspect it was a planned attack. Um, what the fuck is happening? So that's also concerning. Uh, I guess following that, uh, a crafting division also will be summoned by Professor Monty at the sound of a bell. Um, for Aether Tech purposes, there is a project that I think Caden has interested him in, um, and he wants our help with that. What else is going on? The last thing, actually one of the most important, we have an event coming up. I forget the actual rules. It would be wise to go approach um, Professor Samar? I forget her full name. Antis. Professor Antis, she is the one with the blue hands. Um, she was on the boat with us. And she knows the actual full-fledged rules, but it sounds like it's kind of a war game. It's coming up t two days from now. Um, tomorrow. Oh, um, so fuck. Cold. Boy. Yeah. And it is to show off our abilities. It will be different from the other one. We will be pitting t team against team. We don't know the team we're going against. We just know that we are going to need to defend or attack a dorm and try to down all of them. This is not a an event where we will actually be maiming each other. I think they're going to give us buffers and spells and shroud potions and such. Mm. Uh, oh shit, I don't I have my weapons! I have a week to do that then! I'm pretty sure. Shit. Um, so yes. Any questions? <sighs> hmm. uh, none. I mean, do we have any leads on who we think this saboteur might be? Seems like it's all too conveniently placed around one time for it to be different people, or at least not working together. Oh, that's right. Actually, that was a very important one as well. Um, apparently, the boat that we were warned about by the sailors on the way in had chased the re the red whatever they called it the the uh, you the know the pirates were worried about. lady I think. Um, they were mm -hmm. seen near the island, so potentially we have more than one saboteur running about the place. Oh, motherfucker. Because all the way in Linvale, this happened a few days ago. So. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Gotta be organized. There's no way this is all coincidence and people not teaming up a together. A lot of coincidence, yeah. Very extreme. Or very bad run of luck that we're having all of a sudden. Someone's got it out for us. Well, that's what happens when they tell your enemies your name, whoever they may be. That will happen when we have random people, people joining us on the island. Down. I don't know. They'll make a mistake if they try anything, that's all I do know. We've got like two teachers we don't know. So your your question, I'm sorry. sorry and the fucking investor. There. And so far, our heads is on the oh, investor. No, that was the question. No need to worry. Wondering okay. if we have any idea if we have any not, leads or anything to go off. Not exclusively. I think the best person to ask might be the, the girl. Her name was Sophia. Uh, I met her very briefly. Wait, who? Uh, she was near the cafeteria. She seems to be a Zverica of some kind, but she's a Lindale villager. Um, she may be around for a bit mm -hmm. today. Possibly. Sophia? I don't know. Uh, main building, I would assume. That's all I have. Right. Oh, 
Oh, cool. Are you in crafting division? So good. Hmm? Nope. Not a clue how to craft anything, so not me. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, I think, think actually that that crafting project, the Aethertech project that Monty is interested in, uh, is open to anybody that wants to help. I, I'm sure the rudder could be as well, if, if you're interested in attending. That's all I have. I might need to go to the um, training ground very soon, so I'll be here very briefly, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go to the training ground soon as well, after I've... Focus on warming okay. up. Ugh. Yeah. Emma, uh, what happened to your your rifle? Oh no, I I put it on the boat. I can't find it. <laughs> oh, okay. Do we have to go get it off the boat? Because we can just go. It's like docked. Yeah, and it was the same boat that got I sabotaged, right? Yeah, that's the same one. Same ship. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't mean to rush you. I was just oh. letting you know. Um, Dang okay. It. All right. I'll see you guys I'll later. Store... I'm going to use the bathroom real quick. Oh, Another... go on. Power member. Uh, hang on. Uh, do you want in? Oh. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Let's warm in there. You can come in. You, you can, got a friend yeah, in there you if you want to come in here for a little bit. Fire's so roaring. going to be here for a minute? Or... Uh, yeah, I'll chill for a little bit. Come on. Okay. okay, so going to the boat. I'm not gonna get my gun because I don't fucking have my gun. Cause I fucking lost the projects. Or whatever the fuck I put it I put it somewhere. I think I'm going the long way again. Fuck it. Fuck it. But I'm gonna have a look at that boat. Cause it ain't no coin the dinga dongle. Did someone sabotage the mother flicking did I forget to turn off the light? Shit, I might have. Um, who's getting that? Uh, the lock. No, someone come here, fucking sabotage the fucking lock, so the rich piece can get out. And now the boat. That ain't no queen dingy dongle. Okay, I definitely forgot. Oops. Actually, I should probably go up and check to make sure I didn't. And. I'm pretty, I, I clicked it, didn't I? <gasps> oh, excuse me. No ice magic. Yeah. True. If you were to, if you were to do something, you know. Alright, follow me. Cloak a dude. Not allowed to stab. Got it. Okay, someone is here. Okay, so not, it wasn't me. Haha! -ha! Okay, now back to plan check boat. Gonna check that boat. Gonna check that boat. Just trying to get the lay of the area. God, maybe I turned the fuck off. Oh, no. <laughs> God, I turned the fuck down. As if I kept that on, I would not be able to see shit. I mean, I can't see shit all <laughs> already, but... My brain is completely fucking scrambled. Boat. I'm... Fuck it. <laughs> Who needs road? Roads are made to <laughs> not go on. No, roads are made to be broken. The roads. Fuck. Oh, well. I'm gonna tell me it's a terrible idea I'm going here without any sort of weaponry. 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 Wep any weapon. I cannot speak today. Oh, I cannot see shit. Keep 
people out here sabotaging our things, you say. And no one told me I couldn't go to the boat, so... <laughs> So what the fuck is happening? Hmm. Okay. Okay. I know what to I don't know what to make of this besides the fact that ah uh, it doesn't make any fucking sense. Got the thing with the lock, sure. Then you're gonna get someone killed. They knew that. They did not care. But the boat, they just decided they don't want us to leave. But why? Why are we not allowed to leave? Cause they killed the rich beast, so the rich beast can't get out again and and kill someone else. So that's that. Guys probably don't want us to leave and get help from somewhere else. I don't ah. Detective Emma, no brain work. And Varys not here to help me. I need my Inspector Varys. I need ideas to bounce off of. I my brain can't function with only one person thinking. Uh Well, shit. I don't know what the fuck to do. <sighs> Fuck me. Wouldn't that be better to wait till the storm stopped? <sighs> okay. I, I guess. Yes. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Who am I to tell what Madara's jobs are? Are you fucking serious? I was just there! Wait, wait. what is happening? Is it the ding a dong or the chiggy ling a ding dong? I'm so confused. Quick, quick look at the boat. Let, take a second. If I need something, then I'm going up to Apotec. I think it wanted us to. And I'm just getting fucking confused. No, don't see anything. Might just have been an accident. Mm. I don't, I don't fucking know anymore. Oh, now the elbow doesn't sleep. To get it schizophrenic over here. Okay, own brain, not function. Uh, brain small. Brain tired. Brain confused. Oh. Yay! 
You got it! Is getting too many students. <laughs> Miss Roswell? Yeah, I'm Roswell, baby. You can't call them professors. They're just professors. Yeah, Madams? They're just, uh. I, th I thought she but owned the That's island. Lady Roswell. Would we, why would we call her a professor? A lady. <sighs> because in some regard, I'm sure. Oh, Bob, you're using her goddamn name. name. Teach something. Oh. Yeah, that's what I was saying. <laughs> that was asking. You're coming to the Aether Tech thing? Yep. Ah. Oh. Um, I think it's up here. <laughs> Is it still up here? Not sure. Oh, no one Did they move it? No. Oh, no. There he is. I don't think so. But not the work. Blacksmith uh -huh. Warning, Professor. Oh my, oh my. Christ. Young Luca, you are bringing quite the crowd. Um, well, Bronte, well, Ether Tech needs to metal. Observe. I do metal. Right? So, you, and if anything, you guys need me. Hey, it doesn't need that metal. Really, in the table, you got a <laughs> What? There's like four other people coming in. He had, he had, he had, he had, oh, yeah. I don't like to sit down next to Luca. I feel it feels like it's no idea. Is like tender hey. to something. Are you trying to flip me off? And then no. I'll work with wood. Bad reasons. Ah, too bad. Mm. I and could if I wanna. How's it going? Hey man, how's it going? Metal, you it's real easy to take out. It's maintenance, but like when you get like some yeah. termites or something like that. I'm excited. It's, it's been a while. while. Can you imagine? So you can't imagine. I got all giddy when they mentioned this. I wonder what no, the big project is. <laughs> Very mm. interested. I think this is gonna help with our project. <laughs> What was it? Emma, why are you sitting on the table? Huh. Cause all the chairs are taken. Sit on the little baby chair. No, I don't wanna. That's all mine. There's a chair over there. Here, I'll, here, I'll swap. Sit, you sit, sit here. Your, your fat ass can't fit that chair. Watch me. He's gonna try to prove you wrong. <laughs> and he did fit the chair more than I imagined. You're, you're slipping. You're very much slipping out of the chair. <laughs> I'm good. I got. It. There you go. There's a chair open. What's up, Bill? You sure you're gonna be comfortable there? Hi, Emma. Oh, I'm fine. It feels like you're cramming your legs under the table. And <laughs> I have like so much sure? to do. I can dip if you I want. Also, you're the bit standing. Routing around in no, here. It's good. Not cleaning up the tools. Hmm. I'm. I clean up the tools. I'm in the front row. Well, there's a pair of tools that laid on the fucking ground. Guys, you, you all are forgetting that there is a spot right next to your all. Uh, what's that? I, 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 I think I'll, I'll, I'll sit up um, the f f no. further up. Come up here. Yeah, okay. Just, just saying. That's right now. Oh, oh do there I is. <laughs> oh, oh. Regardless, I'm making new armor, so. Oh, neat. Yeah. Lots of work to do before the mission. There's a chair here if you need. Mm. Wait, mission. What mission? Right, um... Need a table? There's not right, going on that. Oh, okay, that's fair. There we go. And now I'm sitting on the chair here. Hey. There's a chair right here. These are benches. Oh. I knew I was... No. I, I knew I was waiting for the right person. Same thing. It is quite alright. Mm. Or... Wait, these are not benches, they're stools. Oh, thank you, sir. You yeah. uneducated yeah, fool! Yeah, he says stools! Um, <laughs> they're literally <laughs> all different. Zuku took it. Though the one you're standing in front of is per is not taken yet. You've been doing alright? Oh. Why is he in crafting division if he doesn't know the difference between a stool and a bench? Um, I, I have no clue. I'm a lot better than Thank you for the yesterday. Time, but oh. I, I think uh, yeah, yeah, still has the, the, the clip that you I You got something on your face? Uh, the, the goggles? Yeah, no, 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 like, you got some, like, dirt in your cheeks. 
Uh, there's, there's a... Nah, there's a cube at all. Look at those two. Ferrari. Students? The fedora? Settle down, students. Quiet. Quiet enough. <laughs> there we go. Not till I have all your attention. Talk louder! Oh no. I will get the closer just... Just in case no one else can hear me. Can you all hear me back there just fine? No. Come closer. Yes, sir. We can Come hear closer. you, sir. We do not bite. We? Who's we? Don't. We. Okay. So. I guess I shall cut to the chase. As I will not. I wish not to be coy with this. But I guess. Some condolences is in order. I am sorry to be meeting you on these circumstances that have transpired a few days ago. It is very unfortunate. However, by extension of Jackson Axworth and Caden, as well as my first upbringing when coming to this island, I was very much surprised to see that there is a sort of projection barrier that you all utilize in order to keep yourselves very much protected. It's a marvel piece of en engineering of Aether Tech. One that Wait, is? many of this world knows about. What is your magic rock? Pieces. Like runes and such. So, what I wish to bring you all here, what I wish to offer you all here, I wish to create an actual barrier. It sounds crazy. I know. Um, sure. Wait, an actual, a actual? barrier you have all, and it notifies you, apparently, of when those that walk through. But that will only protect yourselves. We need something of that scale. Not just for us, but for the rest of the world as well. Oh, um, wait. However, what? where we start from here, I do not know. Anybody here, I ask of you, does anyone know how that barrier that stands outside works? Ain't allowed uh, to touch it. Uh, There's like a mechanism I'm... in the center and it comes out of yeah. it. If I'm not mistaken, though, the mana is coming from the crystal. And that's how it's that being is... generated. That is a common misconception. From the belief, it seems to be an ambient device that absorbs the ambient mana around it. Mm. Enough so that it can right. sort of function. I do not mean to talk down to you. It it's is going to work if weapons work us. Because the Aperite, right, yes, it kind of suck out our magic and then shoot out. Uh, if I vaguely remember, uh, I believe every morning or so, uh, professors will pour their mana into the thing, into the big pillar, and they have to keep doing that to keep it up. Oh, so you're saying it could also be a charge device? I see. So then, does anyone else have some sort of vague idea on how it works? No. Ophelia? Um, I, I, I haven't gotten a, a, a look at how it, uh, how it operates, but um, from fr from what I've um ex experienced with a Aether Tech pr projections and, and shields, um. Most most likely there is a uh, a, a r r runic I engraving, um, ke keeping the shape of the pr projection um both stable and um a at the c correct size. That that way a lot a lot of the um mana can go towards the pr protection and the the notification when when something crosses that border 
Okay, so not complete ruin. It was something with runic or ruin. The runic is uh, some sort of, I guess, information it knows, so that it knows that size and its function. Hmm. Curious indeed. I guess in a way, well, the thing sort sucks in the mana, and then shoot it out. The runic sort of actual barrier. I wish to kind of tells it all what to do with it. With an idea that Caden. Of our guns, it just shoots out. Have sparked thin. We need something of that scale, though. A barrier in itself. So, something if it didn't have the rooms to tell it what or how to function, it'll probably also just is. shoot out a beam of light. A beam of magic, I tell assume. Me, how many people were you able to save back in Kenvale? <laughs> Not enough. Yeah. <laughs> When we arrived, it was already happening. So Pretty fucked up. Was it? it? From my calculations, as well as having a guesstimation in it, you were only able to save tens of people. That is minuscule in the hundreds that were there. It is saddening indeed to know that. But, if we can prevent something like that from ever happening again, or even in the future, from it even becoming a possibility, having an actual physical barrier that encompasses a city, this might seem like a pipe dream, but if this is possible, and that thing outside, right there, tells me all that is very much, then it is quite achievable. We can save those by the hundreds. Oh, and you wanted to get a big ass by the thousand. Ava right. Get it to a city. Build up the runic hold of thingy. The barrier itself won't won't be enough. And then we need to know now put it places in towns and cities and such. From knowing from a single person or an animal, or, and then a rift beast. If we had what we had a few days ago, it might be a bit easier. But we had to do away with the rift beast we captured. It is, it saddens me to say, but we're going to have to have another. No, you say it. Another experiment of that caliber. Oh, no. What I'm asking you is very, very, very dangerous. But I plan to put a request not to Chancellor Malik and Leia Rosewood. Which, that we go back to Ken Vale and capture one. <laughs> uh, I'll go. Me too. Uh. We gotta prepare first, yes. boys. Mm. Well, oh, yeah. yeah. The fucking same. This time we will have more than just a cage and a lock to keep it. And someone to fucking sabotage that too. We also need to incapacitate it to ensure that it never breaks out of its own confines. I don't know much about hunting and poaching. Even mm -hmm. more so, Let's keeping see. something together while it's thrashing about. Caden spoke to me this morning know. of something he knows, of some sort of it. He might have be also be an ally. Go on, Zuku. I did not mean to interrupt you. No problem. I was just thinking, don't Rift Beast regenerate? So how are we supposed to incapacitate it? Physically. They still... Oh, like oh, that's that's what you know. Tying, tying like, it up or... or yeah, basically, binding it. just holding it, binding it as hard as possible. But the problem is, you know, it's gonna, at full power, it's gonna be thrashing and moving around. So, like, the idea 
that I originally had was like, if I can control my ferrum a bit more, or, or have a device that can do it, we can physically bind it at range. I don't know. I, I was just working that, on the whole chain thing. That's right? fucking great and all. Oh, oh, he's saying no. You should talk to Professor Takia. He does kind of a similar thing but, that you're talking about. He might be able do to we really animal. want another riff beast here when there's someone Office, actively sabotaging I, shit I, around I us? I, I, I also, secondly, how the fuck are we gonna get out when the boat is sabotaged? Um, re re receptive to, to this, but um, if, if you were to use a sort of um, uh, a anesthetic or 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 a sleep, sleep it, agent, um, to no, well, that's what we don't know. We we need to be able to uh, capture one yeah. first, right? Yeah. Of so we have no so idea if that kind of thing will work. Of a rift beast. We don't know if they fall ill in ailments just like us. They are otherworldly creatures. Something from the beyond. Regardless, but they do have physical form, so you can't hold them down. You forget them. Hmm. Aren't they made of mana what? or something, sir? I'm unsure that's my. Uh, I don't know about you, but I uh, but I hit one in the face and it hurt my hand. So, oh, pretty physical. There's something pretty there. Yeah, I they guess so. Besides, you can't puncture them yeah. with you know physical attacks. You got to use magic. I know that much, but you can definitely hold them down. Let's talk about the magic. Yes, I tried that once. I'm just thinking. It did work. Yeah. You know, like in alchemy, there's stuff that can break things down because they're like opposite of it or something or maybe it's because of the property of it i don't know i don't really do a lot of it but if they're made of something then there's got to be something else that breaks it down right now where are we gonna figure that out correct i said if a rift beast oh. if rift energy or whatever the risks we must take in order to ensure mm. that hmm. Elam, you were saying something i was hearing in the back Please do speak up. No, I, I, I wasn't. Oh. Oh, was it not you? I, I believe it was the captain Sorry. behind us. Why don't you let him oh. know? Oh, I should have forgot about thing. the captains. And then, wait, that was that. But why would they Please sabotage their own fucking boat? Particularly relevant right, right now. Oh, we already just listened in. He was, he was being a little bit nosy, he's all. about that kind of stuff before, right? Mm. I mean, I just waiting until after. Oh. Regardless. Another thing we need, the yeah, difference chain between life and Rift Beast. We need something for it to read. If we can get the Rift Beast essence, then that, well, you know, was it, just it won't be awkward? easy, but that will be easy enough. But we need it to live country as well as from people's, from another soul. And I'm unsure where to get this, or even Why for it, some sort of information for it to read off of. Do we even we know how to make beast. a barrier read that kind of thing? Well, isn't that what our barrier is doing? If we need to keep, a, keep out the Rift Beasts, then we also need to know those that may be also trying to enter the barrier and exit. Yeah, uh, I understand that, but is there a way to teach a barrier to do that? That we know of? Does not our barrier do that? Can we just get whoever made that barrier? Uh, that'd be really, um, re really complex. What the? Then what the fuck is our barrier but for? A few different layers. At, at, at the very least, and, and then even then, you have, have you would have to have a lot of. Or is it just all made? It might just be like physical stuff. You're doing it purely through Aether tech. Or, or warming system if you want to uh, use it to uh, a cool and I guess what um, he he's getting at that he wants the offended. ones in the cities to only be rift beasts to detection be device unfortunately the charge device is easy enough but a device to absorb the ambient mana around it we, do, we cannot expect others to have as much of a mana pool as we do hmm. So we need an etheric matrix that can differentiate between souls and rift beasts. Hmm. Hmm. I 
I'm planting this seed of ideas into all of you so that you may all come up with something as well. Well, no, this seed of ideas fucking sucks. Well. Until we figure out who the fuck... Yes, Kaden. Just a different, like, question. What's the difference between, like, you know, a person walking through the barrier and throwing a rock? I believe it, it is the rock the doesn't have a soul, soul. inside. So and couldn't we just use the same method to detect a rock to detect a, a rift beast? Mm. We don't know. I if don't rift really beast know how this works. So the, the idea I, I believe was to be the rift beast. Yeah, take the essence specifically to find out what the well, that's one step of the way it. there, right? Uh, yeah, fair enough. But... Better than Wait, do nothing. Have mana do gates? Have to, um... I don't know. That's what I'm asking. That's what no, we need. Man. That's what we need. One. That's oh. the problem. We don't really know. We don't know much about them. We don't, we Wouldn't just know Octavian know this? To magic, Our terrorists? So Someone? To magic Anyone? Tomorrow, at least. Don't we have one teacher that can tell us these kind of things? So, so if somehow you were to try to detect if something uh, had both mana and, and yet lacked a, a, a soul. That might, might help do, with do the, Rift uh, have a soul? Know. That's a thing we don't know. Sorry. I, you could at least have I, this going to go. Like uh, I just remembered moral something. Isn't more there than something tech about uh, like places where Aetherite grow that tend to cause the appearance of rifts? Wouldn't that probably oh. be connected in some way? I assume you come up to that conclusion as well, then. <laughs> Tell me, how did you all come to this knowledge? That Aetherite is uh, some sort of uh, battle. When we told about a, that in Season 2? It was uh, the theory of our previous Aether tech. Oh, yeah, it was a theory. Yeah. Yes. Also, when we went to Kinvale, uh, I was part of a scouting group. We went inside a cave and there were some aetherite crystals around. Mm. Mm. Gotcha. With that in mind, I also have something to ask of you all. You are going to need a lot. And I mean a lot of aetherite. Oh yeah, I expect that. And crystal. It's not going to be easy, seeing that I assume that there's not much on this island, and uh, from what I've seen from my deposits, yes, Luca, is there something you need to tell? I was just gonna say that underneath the school, there's a lot of etherite. Yeah, yeah there's a whole, oh, whole yeah. stack of them. There's yeah, been, God. it's been down there since when we first arrived. I came here with the first batch of students. It's just grown more. Yeah, it's so bad that the see? things living down there is... Well, Alone? there's like a beast down there now, and it's really dangerous, apparently. We trapped it, okay, but... that, did we? Uh, what? There was a creature down there. No, uh, no, one really of the native beast, life forms that got... There, there's... Yeah, yeah, it got like magically enhanced or something by the Aether crystals, and... Yeah, yeah they it. got rid of the rat first. I get fused with it. And then they, they, they dealt with the... Uh... No, they dealt with the rat first. Well, then there was the whole like April right situation where there's now to come rift beast or some sort of monsters there's down there. There's also a weird humming sound. In disguise. We never really got to investigate it. Well, yeah, I guess more. we have our work cut out for us then. Everything we need is... Well, at least... Mm. Nah, 50% of what we need is here. <sighs> We're going to have to go back to down there then. We do not have enough here in our deposits. I checked. Mm -hmm. so, and how do you expect to get there? I'm gonna have to ask. Basement? I'm we have an entrance sure, but I'm... through a sewer you system do. into the school. Yep, it's right outside mm. the school. Mm. In the gate. Front gate, I believe. God, it gets mm, worse we worse. should, uh... <laughs> didn't know about any of this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, well, it's I'm... kind of school secrets. So we yeah. probably shouldn't talk about it in Super in the Open. Yeah. Now that I'm thinking about it. <laughs> Good job, Luca. I'll figure them out eventually. I mean, it wasn't just me. So. Yeah, I, I didn't want to mention Shit. it, but 
Then he asked about the crystals. No. So. This is this is I feel is the news that everybody should know that we are quite literally standing on top of an uh, a right deposit. Uh, oh. yes, sir. Are you okay? Yes. It's, yes, it's getting very excited about that when you, when you all go down when you all go down there, I want uh, I'll have a prime end reminder for it, but when you're all down there. Please keep in mind of counting all the aetherite you see. <laughs> Just in your head, you don't have to say it out loud. But if there's a sort of study conducted upon this, of how much aetherite must be within these sort of mines, until you know what happens. Yep. Mm -hmm. Potentially sitting on the ticking so. time bomb. Yeah, th this is the we went down that birth, wasn't it? <laughs> to take some of it and make it not as dangerous? Stay in there, or how, how much can grow in there until it... Yes, how much I've naturally pr produced at this point. But, like, if you take some away, does that reduce the potential for thing bad things to happen? Or does it increase it? I'm pretty sure it's minuscule. It's just the amount that naturally produced that we must keep track of. Just because they're just happening to Ken Vale. Is it better to go to the medical papers by the rest of the I think. Uh, uh, yeah, have. if you could. If you were down there. Um, do you remember. Like, did you guys, like, do anything? Like, or did you just mine the crystals and had to deal and with down there deal with some monsters uh we we a terrorist the big thing yeah it uh, when fucking <laughs> fucking avatar lies bender mm. he fucking much. rocked up a fucking wall and then they mined up some when you say the big thing you are not referring to a rift leaks correct no oh no. this was an actual life form but i think it was Affected by the either right down there, it did things to it. Oh, you know, that's fucking spiders. The reason why I left the mission. Uh, and slime boys. Exactly. I think it so. Fused with it, like a symbiotic relationship. I think it's third floor, not second. I don't know why he keeps saying second. We made this mistake last week. Someone's looking for us. Uh, uh, thinks the second floor is the third floor, and you know. Quiet, we're having a discussion down here, up here, damn it. Damn it. Regardless. Leaky so, floorboards. Very <laughs> quick, you floorboards. We have the essence we need. Well, not yet, we know where to get them. And we're gonna have to get the materials. I will see what we can do on my end as well. The Grace Princess Cecilia, it, I have an alliance with. And well, she fills my pockets to some degree, so anything you need, Ooh. I will fund it. Money? Just between us eight and ten. Who did you say that was? Her Grace Cecilia. Princess Cecilia. <laughs> Cecilia Everton? She used to go here. Yeah, I know. Cecilia Everton, the same one. Oh. I could be hearing back from her sister. But maybe you could tell her to say that hi from us. Hi! She what about thank you? She's bonding she right now. Married. Did you go to a wedding? And, um, unfortunately, I was not in the right day. So sure that was fun to attend it. Regardless, I when I sent her the notification, I will assume that you all wish to say your regards to her. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously. I'm sure that he'll make her happy. So. Now that I have oh, remember to tell her that the cows are good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Excuse me? Yeah, the, she had a thing with the cows. The cow, I don't know what it was about. Here. But yeah, we, she was very close we, to we, the we, we're taking care of them. Yeah, they're, they're nice. They're, they're, they're in the spot. In the spot, they're in the. I wonder, if, st I wonder ah. if she still dresses like one. Huh. Oh, uh, sure, she's got a <laughs> 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 
I do. That okay, corner she was okay. pressed with like that cow next to the other one. Enough about her grace. That, 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 that is quite enough. I know what she was she doing. Is, I, I promise she's a lot more That's elegant fine? than she is ditzy when she leads on to be. <laughs> oh, my God. We know, grace. we know. I swear. I don't know if I should be offended by it, or just weirded out. So, well, is there anything oh, else, sir? Oh. No, I believe that will be all. I just wish to share this information so that you all know, and can work towards it. As I will be doing myself as well. But I will be looking forward to working with all of you onto this, to sort of save people by the hundreds. And hopefully we can have something presentable for the world to accept, as if it were something that is looked down upon. So I do find yeah, that weird. Yeah. Have... I heard they wanted to go back to the oh, yeah. right. So then, with yeah, that well. being said, thank you all for your time. I hope to see what you all come up with and we are creating. <laughs> you thank you, sir. Uh... <laughs> thank you, sir. Um, if you don't so. mind, sir, I'll. I'll be telling my team about this as uh, they take, took part of the mission to go down there. Mm. You do that. Team did so too. I will not hold be back against that. For them to remember. Yep. I will not hold you back against so that. So we, we, we're just gonna go about a day. So get another Rift Beast. Deal with yet another time bomb. Okay. Alright. Good. <laughs> Thank you, sir. sir. And not worry that we have a. Yes. An active saboteur. I was saboteur. Saboteur. Bingy. He said we just knew it was bad. He's sitting on that monster. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think any of them are that comfortable. I developed my along with my 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 um former employee back. Because I feel like we should. Probably deals that we don't have any more deaths. Down instead of being in the table. You are kinetic user, then I assume. A lot of crucial information. A rift beast would be extremely useful. Unfortunately, that's also extremely. That's what that's what I'm saying. Like, oh yeah, someone's dead. You lie, sis. Have people just so completely forgot? Bite down, bite down the... Are there any metals that are not. like immune to acid? Relying on you. They're being you mean, it's on your mind. Yeah. Then it would probably be a good idea to deal with the saboteur around here. Speaking of, I had an idea. Perfectly immune, or at least so we don't take another rift piece at home, well, and then the next event happens like all over again. The barrier, and like you know, it seems like really hard to get one big source in there to power. But so far, people have seemed to forgotten what happens around here. From a bunch of little sources, or like a small amount of power from a bunch of little sources. Like, to be honest, I don't know if everyone if you knows. Can get everyone in a town to have it passively take Except for Chancellor Tanya today, so to use the power it. I agree. They, they all seemed very eager to go get one again. Doesn't I enjoy that we get another Probably better one. just to... I feel like we should at least deal with the problem we have uh, here first, so we don't repeat the same mistake. I agree. I'll put that word in for Chancellor Malik when Professor Monty gives you. Actually, I'll just tell him as well. Then, I'll, I'll let Malik know later today. <laughs> <laughs> growing the amount of money and if, if we were able to, to get um, some sort of money in there. Do you have any work to do on your rifle? Um, maybe somehow we can I... just recycle. Yeah, I have some things, but I still need to find it. I'm still on the boat somewhere. Uh, I, I will be here messing with the spear. Um, yeah. It's fine, I just draw, doing some drawings and such when the souls come in. Yeah, same. I have to design things. Okay, well then, yeah, why not? I'll go with you. And then, if you need to... No, but I was just gonna look around. Are you the tech of the ship? No, just in general, look around. Oh, I see. So, you don't, you don't want confidence. 
Not right now. Um, yeah, well, it's down there. Okay. Yes, the Good luck, Emma. See you back here later. It's the rudder, don't jump in the water. I'll try! Oh, my neck! Oh, that did something. Oh, hello there. Oh. I think I saw it stuck in my neck. It did a thing. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Well, if you talk to him, let me know how much it's at. I've not seen the investor. What the fuck would I even talk to him about? I'm, I'm, mm. His verse was like kind of like my talking shield. Uh, so, Solus? Oh, hey. You, are you good? Cold. Uh, <laughs> Cold. No, Madari is the, 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 the Fedora. The Fedora is the talking. I can speak a little bit, yeah. Not like full sentences, but well, what are you even doing? Why are you not back in Terra and keeping warm? I think they're evolving. <sighs> Maybe. Training, obviously. Training? Yeah. Being busy. Uh, out in this world, then. Hey. You can see. I'm gonna go down for a little bit and hey, go, warm up. Can you jump hey. into another pile of snow again? Wait, what? Uh, I got a little lost on the way to the arena. So I guess that kind of counts. I was just in the storm for longer than I probably should have been. Alright, come on. Are we okay, though? On, we're gonna give you some warm soup or something. You you need to warm up right now. Come on. Uh, I'll be okay. And you got, haven't you got that thing to work on with everyone else? No, I... No, right now we're just bouncing ideas. <sighs> Alright, well... I mean, if you haven't met it, then sure. Yeah, come on. Let's get you warmed up. The arm, Solus. He trying. trying. We'll be out in the cold if we're coming to the boat, so be careful. You need a head, man. Keep your ears warm. Maybe. It's... I don't think that's the issue. I was actually doing all right for a while until um, until a good few people got cold, mm. and um, well, they needed someone to keep them warm, so I uh, used some of my fire magic to. Wait, so warm you them did up. use the thing you said you didn't want to use? Obviously. Yeah, you know, I can. They needed help, so one person being cold is better than like five people being cold, so. Okay. Yeah. Nope. No. 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 You cannot come here and tell me the whole lore about the the fire and infinity and such, and then go about and then just use it all willy nilly. I mean, people were cold. I can just not help them. Yes, you can not help them. They can figure out to get warm themselves. Like get a fire going, perhaps. So yeah, no, that's not going. Grab your soup. Come on, we're going. Come on, grab. Grab this. Uh, what? Uh, grab. Uh, come on. Uh, hey, walk, walk, walk. Going, there? going upstairs. Come on. Upstairs? Yes, upstairs. Um, why? What, what's... Hmm. Upstairs. Uh, I didn't know we had stores there. Huh. Hmm. 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 What are you looking for? All right. You're going out. Come on. Okay. That's not outside. Wrong door. <laughs> Oh, 
Komm schon. Oh no, not again. Not again. What are we looking for? Oh god, that almost took me. Ooh, Ugh. Rough headache? Yeah, very okay, rough headache. Good. Come along! <sighs> Solus, strip! <sighs> strip. Uh, uh, huh? Strip. Uh. What? Huh? Take off your clothes. Uh. Um. Uh, sure, I guess. Um. I just. Put this here. Um. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> Not being creepy at all. <laughs> oh. Hello? You know, this is kind of a weird situation to be in, but like, I guess... Howdy. Why do you want me to Everything. take off the stuff that's keeping me warm? So you can get in there and get warm. Oh, uh, right, I guess I expected have, have you not taken a bath before, Solas? No, no I, I've taken baths before. It's, uh, no, it's a different thing, so, uh, never mind. He's been telling me about this whole Maybe fire magic lore, how he, he's taken fire, uh, heat from himself to heat up other things, and he's been doing that around other students, and now he's piss cold. So now I'm taking him, I'm throwing him in there so he can heat the, his self up. Well, that's because, like, five people were cold around me. I couldn't just stand aside and let him free. Yes, so you I could! I'd tell them to go here! So now I'm telling you to go here. So you can tell them next time to go here! Solus. Solus, fine. Now get in. By any chance, have you thought about, um... Get in. Uh, thanks. Uh, the, the exam thing? Yeah, I'll, I'll, um, I'll take it soon, don't worry. Uh, no, not about that, but thank you for reminding me. Um, carrying a bucket of just warm or hot water. Wait, is that what you're doing? Carrying? Yes, that's not what I've been doing. Careful, it's hot. Oh, oh god, it is hot. I'm not gonna question that. But yeah, stay there, what, get what hot. You your soup is there so you can get hot internally. And don't go about and use your fire stuffy My again. Hands, I guess. Good. Don't spill the soup uh, in, the, in the pool. And don't spill the soup in the pool. I won't, don't worry. Good. <sighs> Feeling better? Jeez. Uh, I, I guess a little, um... I take a bit of warm up though. Uh, without using that fire for a while. Mm-hmm. Good. <sighs> Question. Have any of you seen Malik at all? Uh, Malik? No, I haven't seen him, like, mm, all day. Nope. Like, I see. in his office apparently, or some shit? Maybe. Apparently he's searching for me and I need to also discuss some things with him. Mm. Thank you for letting me know. No problem. Was oh, that word? What? Oh. Uh. I'm just gonna stick my tokens in here. <laughs> oh yeah, that's good. You know, I appreciate what you did, but. You couldn't think of any better words to use than solar strip now. Well, you were cold and I had to think fast. I'm a rabbit. I think fast, Solus. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Uh -huh. It's a good thing Mordred <sighs> didn't ever hear that. Oh, he probably did. He just didn't There's question a lot it. Of explaining. Ooh. Oh, boy. Oh, that's good for my little beans. Ah. Uh. I 
I'm slowly starting to warm up a bit here. Yeah. So when people ask you to heat up some stuff, tell them to go here instead. Uh, I'll try, but I like helping people, you know? Yes. And, well, maybe I could help them for a little bit and come here, maybe? Solas, you shouldn't go around and use your magic like that. You t you said so yourself! You said it! I don't know, I just... They all seem so cold and... I didn't want them to... Be cold anymore, you know? I wanted to help, so I just kinda... Went against my own word and... So I, know, I can just sit there and watch them freeze. They have been cold before. I'm sure they can heat up themselves. Like turning on a fire themselves. And if not, then they can oh, no, learn. Just... I want people to be more uncomfortable than they have to be, you know? I guess my usual thing is suffering, but I think maybe suffering is a bit of an extreme word for this. Yeah, no, it's just, just uncomfortable. I don't know, maybe... Just... I think I like helping people. <laughs> Someone needs help, I kinda struggle to find a reason to not go do it, you know? Yeah, but what about helping yourself? <sighs> well... Uh... That can come later, I guess. I mean, I'm helping myself now, aren't I? Yes. Because I told you to. Well, I'm sure I would have eventually. I was gonna go get some hot soup anyway. Uh huh. So, how'd the meeting go? You said you were bouncing off ideas. Did you guys come up with anything to work with? <sighs> It's like they completely forgot that Skyet got fucking cut off recently. Hmm. They're talking about getting another a rift beast. Keeping busy to forget it. Right. Another one? Yep. Is it all fine and dandy? Who, whose idea was it? Ugh, the, the new teacher. Apparently. Uh, the, the, the owl guy. The owl guy. Right. I... I really don't like the idea of getting another one. Having to let those damn things live longer than they deserve. Rubs me the wrong way. It's like a whole experimental thing. He want to try and make copies of the burial that we have and then put them in other cities so they can be more prepared for whenever shit goes out. Right. But I feel like we should at least take care of the shit we have here first. We already have one Rift Beast roam loose because someone sabotaged the lock. So surely it would happen again since it also happened with the fucking boat. Mm. We lost a person, and we had to kill the Rift Beast it worked so hard to collect. If we want to do it again, just hope we've learned. Might as well not to deal with and this problem first, you know? I... I don't think I'll ever agree with taking the Rift Beast back to here. The idea of giving those things a chance to live. Sure, there's the whole, we'll torture it, we'll beat it and hurt it, but that's... I don't think that's enough. Not for me, anyway. One dead. Simple as. Yeah. I don't care if it helps the science groups, whatever, figure out how to kill them easier. My fire magic works just fine as is. <sighs> well, we'll see. Yeah. 
Besides me saying that's pretty selfish, right? Because it would help knowing more about them, knowing how to fight them better. I can't deny that it would help people. Might make us some better weapons, better spells, who knows, but seeing them just can't stand it. Man, that's a completely fair solace. It is. Nothing wrong with that. Well, whatever they plan on doing, at least going forward, we'll stick as a team. Even if they send us off to go find another one, We'll just do as amazing as we did last time. Yes. I mean, Team Terra is the best team on campus. Oh, <laughs> no surprise we did so well capturing it. Yeah, so far there's a lot of volunteers. Uh huh. And well, I don't think it'd be the team that it is without you. So thank you. You know. But being of the team. Hey, no problem. I enjoyed here. I enjoyed a lot more than Ventus, that's for sure. <laughs> that's good. Just let me know if you need anything, alright? I'm not really sure what happened on Ventus, but whatever happens in the past now, we can just ignore it. Move on. Just don't go causing too much trouble, alright? I won't. I'll at least try. Good. Ah, to start. <laughs> you know, I ask a lot of people this sort of thing, but those hero stories, those are the ones they tell kids. Do you believe in them? Like the heroes in them are real. Or they were real. Or they ha have people similar to them. Do you, do you think maybe there are people like that out there? Uh, I don't want to tell him no. I think in a sort of sense they... They were created based on people who did great things. They wasn't necessarily a hero. Right. Or at least didn't have a big title. It was probably just a guy who did what was right for the people around him. And then a story was created about him and he was therefore a hero. And to yeah. show that completely normal people can do a difference. You don't need a big title or anything to save the world. I'll become a hero in a story. Maybe even... Even a nobody could, you know... Rise up one day and... Do something great like that. Yeah. Even a nobody. Yeah. <sighs> I mean... I mean, what's more of a nobody anyway than someone who doesn't even have a family anymore? I mean, seriously. I barely even knew who my family were before I lost them all. I was eight, so hell if I remember anything. My dad wasn't around too much. My mom, well, he was just kind of a mum. Did at home, took care of kids, loved us, cherished us, yelled at us when we did stupid shit. But it's like I don't really have any real strong memories at the time. Nothing but books, stories, and playing pretend as a hero with a small wooden sword and a helmet my dad had made me when I was small. It never really fit. That's well, really all I seem to remember. At least you had somebody. Point? People just seem to want to get rid of me. Well, they certainly did once I ended up in Flint. 
after about a year of trying to live in the woods and crashing from house to house and getting thrown out, got to Flint, and that was kind of my mainstay. But there, I um, wasn't really appreciated too much. I had to do a lot of stealing to live. Got a lot of scars and a lot of beatings from that. Turns out adults don't take too kindly to a small starving boy taking even just a loaf of bread to live. But it's in the past. Now I can eat. Finally got some meat on my bones for once in my life. This is probably the biggest I've ever been. And I'm nothing in comparison to some of the other people here, so... Oh, I yeah, know. Seems like I got a long way to go. I just gotta work out like Caden. <laughs> I try, I try. But Caden was already big by the time he got here. I was working from ground zero. Back at the orphanage, I was eating maybe one meal a day. Everything was a little bit off, a little bit stale, a little bit of mold growing on it, you know. You can go in. Nothing was fresh. Was. The door is not locked, uh, you can go in. It's weird, having all the fresh food here. Mm. I'm still not really used to it, I guess. Well, um, you know? Like, sometimes I wake up... ...almost panic, seeing where I am. Comfy bed. The uh, food. A fireplace that doesn't look like it's gonna collapse at any minute. Fresh clothes. Uh, people that are actually my age and at least pretend to give a shit. Uh, <laughs> can't speak for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's bizarre. It's like everything I wanted, but not. I, I don't know. It's odd. <sighs> Uh, sorry, I'm rambling here anyway. Uh, how about you? I mean, what was things like for you back home, if you don't mind talking about it? Uh, I must just say, that's my mom when I was younger. Uh, Dad stopped giving a shit. Stopped drowning himself in work, you know? Mm -hmm. Had uh, Had this stupid little shit next to our house. He would basically live in there and just work day in and day out. Never see him. The only time I did see him was uh, when this specific boat came up against the shore and would give him like a lot of boxes of stuff, Apotex stuff. And that's where I would try and run up to the boat and uh, try and escape with it. But of course, I would always get caught. <laughs> I guess that's where you learned all your Aether Tech stuff then, huh? Yeah, always watching. If I didn't have anything to do, I would just watch through the window. It was fairly easy to learn after a while, but... After a hot minute, I decided uh, that I should probably focus on other things. Like, Aether Tech was fun and stuff at the time, but it was more like a hobby in, in the progress. While he was working on guns and stuff, I, I couldn't make that. Not with the tiny scraps and stuff he would sometimes leave behind. Because he used a lot of it. So I, I started working out and started doing some training, started to run around. But of course that also gave me in trouble. And uh, when dad heard about it, whew, oh, he was mad. He was real mad. <laughs> so that's when he got rid of me, I guess. Sorry to hear it. It's uh I think people grieve differently, I guess. And maybe his way of grieving was drowning himself in work. And I was getting in his way of his grieving. So it was easier to send me off to my aunt, who he barely knew. Who I barely knew. I I, I knew my mom had a sister, but besides that I knew nothing about her. So being sent over there uh, was a feeling of relief, in a way. 
but also scared of the unknown. You know? Mm -hmm. But uh, in the end, it turned out to be a living nightmare. I'm pretty sure if I stayed there, I would have been dead. Well then, I'm thankful you're not. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Took me some balls to run away. Yeah. I always thought about it, but I never really had anywhere to go. Didn't have any money. No, nothing to my name. I was just some kid. Soulless anima. Lost of the anima. And... A dead man walking, basically. The boy that survived a rift attack. The boy who lived. Through the skin of his teeth. <laughs> sure, yeah. I mean, none of probably probably the same. I think I had a rift beast about this close to my face. I even have a scar still. Mm. Yeah. No mercy for kids, I guess. Chaos. With beasts, don't care. Yeah. The, uh, the rift opened basically right next to the house. There was no way all of us were gonna make it out there alive, but. Only me is, uh. Rough. I guess on that part I was a bit luckier. The rift opened like, about a little bit uh, outside the village I live next to. Mm. I guess on that part I was a little bit more lucky, so... I'm... I'm sorry, Solus. Oh. Uh, in the past now. What in years. What in years ago, so... You know, we move on, or something. Yeah. Part of the circle. We live and die. And so go on. Well, at least we can do a difference. Well, we can at least try to well, do a difference. That's the reason I'm here, anyway. Make yeah. sure whatever happened to me doesn't happen again. The whole reason I showed up in the first place or ever agreed to showing up here. Because the last thing I want is another kid going through what I went through. Yeah. I wouldn't wish that upon anybody. There's one phrase I remember from my mother when I was little, and it stuck with me. That was... Push yourself through hell, so others can live in heaven. <sighs> Something like that, anyway. Maybe I got it wrong in a bit, but... The idea being... Be willing to put yourself through anything. Make sure others can live well. That's what I live by. <sighs> <sighs> Maybe I should go for that after I'm done here. When we're done saving the world. Maybe I'll go back to my aunt's institution and do something about it. Maybe. I don't know. I think there's a lot of things one can do once we're all down here. I've got a few ideas. I think one of them start my own orphanage, though. Give somewhere safe for kids to live instead of the shithole I grew up in. Mm. Someone that, you know, somewhere that actually cares about them. Took a lot of work, but I managed to kind of turn my home into that. It's not perfect, though. Hey, the home is where the heart is. I suppose so. Well, my heart currently resides with about 50 plus orphans all waiting for me to return back with great stories of hero stuff, so. Oh, yeah. I'm sure you have a lot of stories ready. Oh, please, trust me. 
from that short gap I had back, that very, very quick time I was there, I had a million stories to tell just then. Well, let me think of any other time. <sighs> You all good now? Yep, feeling much better. That's Thanks. good. No problem. I'll have to lay off the magic for a little bit, but other than that, not a real issue. Oh, wait, no, not that. What am I doing? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. And pump. Oh, that was certainly nice. Hmm? Ready to go, go back outside? Oh, joy. Yeah, I got it was snowing. <laughs> oh, well. Can't say I'm locked up in here forever. Nope. Might as well get back to Terra. Heat up the fireplace again. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Might. Oh, actually, uh, the bowl. I should probably... Oh, it. right. Okay. Bowl. Where did I... Oh, I put it here. You put it here. I'm oh, no, gonna no, press it. Uh... Where is a thing? Uh, I don't know if there's one upstairs. Do we have one in Apertech? Uh, mm, no? Hmm. I we had a trash can here. No. Oh, we'll, we'll just take it downstairs. There are plenty of oh, stuff. That's alright. We'll just run down. Yeah. Mm. Alright. Scooch up! Is this the right way? Are you sure it's not that one with the snow prints? Is it? Where does this one lead? Outside? outside? Oh, it is outside. Oh, they're both outside. Okay. Yeah, that's the fastest way, in my opinion. <sighs> is it? Okay. I'll yeah. Oh. Yep. Get in here. Ooh. At least it keeps you from being outside for too long. Ooh. Ooh. I can feel my toe beans. That's a weird question to ask. We ever like considered shoes? Oh, don't you go there! Do don't we? We're shoes? not going there, Solus. We do not go there. I'm not getting shoes. Why not? It might help if your feet. Again. I don't. No, I'm not listening. I'm not listening. No, no, I can't hear you. Well, I. I'll do the interview. And I can't hear you. Da 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 da. It's getting loud. Oh, I. Jeez. All right. All right. No shoes. I get it. Already had this discussion with a Ulysses bag in Ventus. I'm not getting shoes. It feels weird. Well if, you f well, if you're saying your feet are cold, then why not? They're, they're normally not that cold, but it's gotten worse after the oh, whole man. acid oh. that got spooled out and about. Hello. I just don't... I mean, whatever works. It feels weird. Oh. I don't like it. Hi, Professor. Oh, then. Solis, since you were practicing your punches earlier, a bit of a mm -hmm. pop quiz. You too as well, Emma, if you want to take a part in it. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you heard me when I said, be careful and make sure you're paying attention to where you're pulling your mana from. Yes. Do you know why that is especially true now with a blizzard? Because my mana, especially fire... It has to be taken from somewhere. It takes energy from somewhere, mainly heat. So either the outside, which there isn't much of, and will drop to even colder, or more realistically, myself. I bring a lot of harm to myself if I start letting it drop too low. No more reason <coughs> why you shouldn't go around <coughs> help others <coughs> with the heat. <coughs> yeah. Oh, back up. Remember. Make sure I avoid doing that. Yes. 
<laughs> if anyone is going to use magic, try and warm a room. Either use fire to spark a fireplace, and that is it. Or, if they're going to be trying to hold it long term without a fire, find a spot where, such as an opening, like a door or a window, and then place ice magic, as ice magic is a dispersion of heat. It will start pushing any kind of heat that's trying to escape back towards you. Right. Mm-hmm. I'll get rid of that empty plate or empty bowl. Oh, dear. Uh, honestly, it really sucks, though, that I can't just warm people up with the fire. I mean, I know I can do the spark thing, but... That's why uh, we have a hot tub, oh, so well. people can walk their asses up there. <laughs> I guess. I had also spent the last three months collecting firewood. So a chunk of that's going to be going to Linville. As long as all lumber and building material. Mm -hmm. oh. well, I hope they're all doing okay. I'll get How was that? Yeah, that was all for that. Remember, let me know if there's anything you have questions for, or information I need to know. Come on. All right. I'll be. Thank Used you, Professor. Used up enough of your time. I'm good. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, no, Snack, are you ready to get yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Uh, I guess. Did you see where Philia went? Uh, I was wanting to talk to them for a little bit, but they I know she just off. walked off. Maybe she went back to Ignis. Hmm. Maybe. She does Aether Tech stuff, right? Yeah. She made that really cool shield thingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was so cool. Uh, yeah, she's seriously amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go have a look for her and see if she's hanging out somewhere. Um, if not, then I'll probably be in Terra Dome in a bit. Mm, cool. Uh, know what I'll be doing. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I think a good few of us are by the arena if we're gonna watch them try swinging fists at each other for like 10 minutes or so. Nah, I might do that. Just to think of something else for a hot minute. Yeah. I don't know. Things have been pretty quiet today, so. You made yeah. your business thing, so I'd say go relax. Take it easy for a bit. I'll try. We'll love you, fine, Philia. Will do. Take care of yourself. Yep. Solas? So Solas? Solas? Ah, he'll find out. About to say I found her. Um, if, if, if it's uh, okay with you, Professor, um, Actress, uh, speaking with um, uh, Professor Actress, um, about possibly I even. And I do. Fuck all. Oh god, yeah, I forgot how cold it is. <laughs> Can we get out fucking sn oh, What? That was mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, done. Fuck all investigation now. I, cause right now I'm kind of stuck. <laughs> I the best thing I can do is talk to the investigator, but I' not sure. And I've not seen him. I've like seen him like one half second in the morning. And that's about it. So why is people fighting in this weather? <laughs> Oh, if people fight, I can't fucking see them. 
no way anyone in their right fucking mind would be going about fighting each other in this weather. I will not believe it. God, now I need to find my way into the dorms. Oh no. Um. Should be a little, uh. A little, a little funky way around here. Right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Oh no, this is going up. And it's over here. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Yes? God, everything looks so different! Okay, Aqua is out and about. Ignis is out and about. This is out and about. And that's about fuck all. Uh. <laughs> Shit, then what the fuck do I do? I could go and bother. Who could go and bother? Um. Ignis, I have. No reason to bother, honestly. In my opinion. Um. Get a good bother, Aqua? I go. I go bother. I could, uh. What you might call it? Uh. Lefarial. About the uh, run. Did I leave oh. the, um. The light off. May as well. Okay. Uh, okay. greetings. Hi, Emma. Good afternoon. Whew. Keeping warm. I try. This is not a private conversation. You are welcome to. Continue enjoying your own dormitory. Now it's speculating mm. what the fuck to do. I mean, what to go, where to go. Fuck! Ken's very in front of the mm. LA of Rosewood! I hear Did you get the your, um... going over some of the abilities of the unsorted. And there are several still in the main building, though I'm not sure what they're up to. Mm. Oh. Yeah. I think this is a pretty regular day at Rosewood. We just work on what we can to get better, you know? Professor's guidance and there. I spent the better part of the day in Aether Tech so far, working on designs. And how did that go? I hear they're making progress. I think, I think, well, uh, Professor Monty might have a task for us regarding the, um, tunnels underneath the school. Have you been briefed about the, uh, situation down there? Oh! Hey, Morgan. No, there's quite a bit I'm learning. Ah. It's not private. I hope everyone's had a, a wonderful night or day today. Murders? At the Rosewood Institution. My I'd like to welcome you all to the, the secret Rosewood Club, The Lighter. Oh, the downstairs. This is in an unknown place uh, at the school. If you would all like uh, oh, yes. to make your way knock, knock. towards the stage to sit somewhere, uh, that'd be great. I shall. What? Is anywhere you can see. What is happening? Come on. Okay. I think I know what it is. No, wait, what is? Here it is. What? Quiet. What? It's a secret. Uh, okay. Oh. I'm fucking sorry. No. Don't do that. No, I'm. I'm looking to get ahead, so I can 
talk with them. There is a hidden team. Uh, oh, there you, go. Oh, there you go. There, there you, you go. go. You got a bar? Yeah. Come on. Hi, Emma. Come on, come on. Let's go. <laughs> the show's about to start. Go, go get Wait, what show? What? Anything to drink? Uh, what? I. Sugo, I need to take Anything all of this in. Yes, thank you. I would like a love a drink. Hello, Morgan. Okay, what do you want? What do you have? <laughs> Anything. Anything? Alcohol. Not give, alcohol. Give me some alcohol, please. <laughs> Galeb, give me some ale. What is all of this? It's it's our, our little place. A little place. Here you go. Oh. Here you are, sister. It's more than little. Fucking Vester! Greetings. I need a drink. Get a, <laughs> can you give me a drink as well? Okay. I don't even know anymore. I need to sit down for this. I'm. I'm fucking sorry. All the fences is here. Everybody's fucking here. Who isn't? everyone know about this place? Thank you. Yes, pretty much. I have a bank. I guess small secret that the students have if it's apparently one. So. Well, oh god, Luca, I didn't see you. I've been sitting here for like 20 seconds. I, I'm still taking in the whole place. I did not know any of this. Yeah, I'm a bit jealous, to be honest. Enjoy. Uh, uh, you know, once I get my fucking tattoo parlor and once I get the barbershop and tattoo parlor going, it'll be great. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be cool. I feel that pushing to the end of breaking isn't exactly how we want to create soldiers, or at least what else. We don't come up with that. That in itself is well. I want to see closer, by the way. There's a lot of space. Wait, for what? What is happening? Alright. It's a show. Everybody, everybody, please make your way and take a seat. We'll be beginning in a moment. Please approach. The stage. Very cool, my dear. Thank you. If you would like to, please approach the stage, everybody. It is time to begin. The actors are ready. The script is on fire. Not literally. What? What's on fire? There's no fire. All right. We're going to begin in a moment. Yeah, I will be off stage, uh, just over here, do doing narration. Actually, I'll be behind because that'll that'll work a little bit better. Sorry, I had to get it from my stash. Well, just a moment, if you can, please, possibly for a second. All right, there you go. Where do you go? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Mm -hmm. Right, um, a, a bit closer, no if you can. Yeah, what's up? So are they going to set the stage on fire? Might not send anybody. Okay. Okay. Uh, Hopefully not. So, I think they literally said they weren't going to set the stage on fire. If that's the case, I'll be using the disaster for me. Yara? I'd like to start yeah, the, um, by saying to everybody... Do you have, um... What's up? Everybody here? This performance has been being worked on by Gelab and I and some other people in, in privacy and secret for this special occasion. We all went through a, a very hard time. And certain people don't remember that occasion. So 
This is for them. Yeah. This is this yeah. is for Yiko. Yeah. Oh, oh. Chelsea, Yiko. This is all for you, Yiko. Uh, Only you know. Yiko. Here's, mm -hmm. Today, we'll be watching a reenactment of the EAC mission. What? Oh, what is this? But this time, let's go. Better. Better? Better? Oh. <sighs> Enter stage back. The students have just arrived at the EAC outside Kenvale to hunt owl bears for reward and renown. I might have to sit closer. <laughs> 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 Mouth, mouth. Mouth, 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 if they have the spirit of the spirit, aren't they also the last ones to arrive at the mine? As the day begins, the students and professors head further into the island to go set up camp. <laughs> Love it here. That is the end of scene one, the beginning. What? Chapter one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I Those whips are really good. <laughs> I wasn't I here to steal a hair and a sleep. I was gonna stick my head over time. How would it worry about it? I wouldn't worry about where I got the where someone got the hair. It wasn't good. I gotta get closer for this. You need, hair, are you? You need a cup holder? I don't think so. Well, you just need a row, yeah. I think. Am I? I do have to say the ghost is up pretty I didn't steal anybody's hair. You are watching the play. 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 Kaden, what's all in this bag? Lost. Scene two, oh, the camp. Um, Enter that? stage back. Damn. I think there was a couple Thanks. bottles there. <laughs> Plates. <laughs> the Umber <laughs> camp <laughs> has been set up. That's fucking adorable. I love it here.
like this. <sighs> Uh, meow, meow. Oh, this is James Solis would have loved this. I think he's just oh, he's really interesting. <sighs> okay. Meow. Probably dreaming of the color green. Meow. Are they gonna have. Luca, I think you died. Yeah. Oh, he's, like he's, he's just. He's just I don't sleeping. Remember that part? Is that you're in the camp the and you're just resting. seems to be pretty alive. I think it's because you were. Uh, it's. Suffered. They were resting in the in the tent that they oh. made. Pa pardon me. <sighs> that night, I do remember them. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, what? That's a chicken? Suddenly, an owl bear has appeared. <laughs> That's a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, get him! Oh, Did you suck him Yeah! This is so terrifying. Oh my goodness. I pop out to the police. I'm loving this. We did fight some of them. Oh, I'm going to be in the middle of the day. I'm going to be when it comes to perhaps a day, maybe, but fighting them, that is in itself alone quite a feat. We took out, I believe, nine. Oh, well, I was like, look, you're very heroic at the mission. Uh, but that, 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 I didn't. Uh, and they had proper preparation. They might be embellishing a little bit. Can we kill the child? Why? But please, no spoilers. I'm very invested right now. What? Ah, fair enough. I'm a mama. Uh. Oh. Yay. Yay. Hooray. Yeah. Fantastic. I mean, For the night, yeah. Umbra Team rests, having defeated the Owl Bear Menace. <laughs> okay, just for your reference, you got the end of scene two. And I didn't want V1. Camp. Yay. The performances are very believable. I could have sworn you it mentioned it looks like we I'm killed the mama. two children and the mama bear. What? I mean... Uh, I'm sorry? It was... Uh, orders are orders, Chico. What about the all bears? <laughs> Not real children, sir. Uh, for the discussion. Soldiers <laughs> 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 are orders! They killed two children and his mother! Nothing! What happened? Nothing happened to the baby bears. A lot happened to the baby bears. Everything's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Everything's fine. Interesting, but is this part of the mission I didn't know about? Well, now it is. Sorry, it's it's easy. Easy. Perhaps, uh, I understand, but it's perhaps for the <laughs> it wasn't my choice. So you did kill two I children. I'm just going oh, shit. Yeah. There's blood on all of our hands. <laughs> it was like <laughs> under <laughs> auto or something. Ooh, and Jill loves your nails. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Why can't you up a lot of unaddressed huh? traumatic oh. memories for me? What do you mean? You really <laughs> slept that Albert. I just made the story. I did the story. You trapped an Albert and you killed mm. babies. <laughs> no, they, they weren't babies. Uh, great they were still like like six, they were still like eight so feet tall. Pat yourself on the back for that. Others are too terrified to even make it. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, it's small it's okay. So okay. they really I mean, we didn't even get attacked by bandits. So. Owl bears. Oh, oh. Friend of oh, mine would say, yeah, yeah, especially yeah. when you oh, stack them on top of each other, they're definitely combined. Big small, big owl bear. Maybe it's just mm -hmm. oh. Mertash is all well backstage. <sighs> it might take a bit, man. Oh. Oh. I'm assuming, oh. I'm assuming oh. that uh, oh. having these costumes oh. would be quite hard. Featuring oh. guest star on actual bear. Mine's really bouncy. Lifelike. Very carefully. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. 
Now we begin scene free. Dawn of the second day. How many, how many scenes? Are there? <sighs> there are four scenes in this play. Let's see him. Oh, oh no. Oh my god, it's Lothario. Oh, Lothario's there. Oh yeah, you were there on the second day. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh no. Are they okay? As, as the next day rolls around, with Team Umbra asleep, suddenly, the earth shakes below. An earthquake. <laughs> Everybody stomp your feet, stomp your feet. Stomp your feet. They begin to run to the others in hopes of figuring out what's going on. Oh my god, that's not even these little elf ears. I agree. He does look at him. He's just like you. It's just like me for real, for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. For real, for real. I wonder what's gonna happen next. Hey, I walk like that. Wait, I know this. Yeah, you know what happens next. Yeah, you know what's there. Oh, yeah. Say it. Mm -hmm. I am. Yeah. I am. 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 They better sneak around it if they want to live and get to the others. That's not what they actually look like. Yeah. Yeah. I was in around the second day. No, it's not. Okay, okay. No, no, it's not. Watch out! I'm so terrified. <laughs> I can't believe they got a real living rift beast to come out on stage. <laughs> Keep going, little Umbra! It's distracted! Got this. Oh Over here, Rift Beast, don't look behind you. I guess there's no one here. <laughs> After the snap of it, they managed to narrowly avoid being seen. And the day. The scene comes to a close. As the end of scene three. Yeah! Yeah! So far, I'm... I'm still perplexed on how much time I've spent on this. Can I have a little... <laughs> yeah, yeah. With Ariel, weren't you still by the lake at that point? Huh? Hey. Don't think about it too hard. <laughs> I remember. Like some I do. Might be I better. Don't. Someone might have gotten into the wrong costume. Perhaps if it might have been inaccurate, it could have been, what is it, uh, artistic liberty, perhaps? I was pretty sure Lothario was there with us. Yeah, that's right. And I seem to this remember. This is still the, the, the first day. I know, Captain Jack was there. I believe they used the <laughs> he ran off into the forest with a torch. I remember that. Mm. You mean that? I think he actually tried to distract the Rift now that I think about it. Fluffy versions I mean, we... of... Students is quite the nice sight, you know. Mm -hmm. I hope they have one of you. I wasn't there. What do you mean? Uh -oh. You were definitely there, right? <clears throat> no, no. No. <laughs> Sam, you two! He wasn't. We're about to the show! No oh, shit from here. <laughs> Alright, is, is this thing on? That, what does that mean? 
All right. Is it all on your hands? It's always a horn. It's a horn. Yep, it is a horn. That's correct. I know this. Scene four, the finale. Mostly everyone has regrouped at the docks they arrived at and are ready to defend against the Rift Beast Menace while awaiting a ship's arrival. Another group is setting a bomb to blow up the city. I'm still not sure why. Wait, what? Yeah, that happened. It was after the evacuation. It was to slow down the Rift Beasts. Oh, is, that, is, that, is that Mr. Yeah, to slow down the Rift Beasts. That's right. Why did we blow up the city? Because I think there were rift beasts in the city, and it would have been just remind everybody, as some of you have either forgotten or were not oh. present, the city had to be, well, as I'll put it, blown up, due to the presence of a rift inside of the city that was forming. Spoilers! It was to clear out. Uh, it was to clear out anything that was there. Oh yeah, Mertus, there's a professor here, by the way. Okay, totally reasonable. Yeah, that's okay. Oh no, it's actually happening, isn't it? Fighting! Intense action! <laughs> Watch out! Lefario's leg! Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Can we joke about that? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! That's kind of fucked up, right? <laughs> Oh god. The horror. The horror. The blood and gore. Lefario has lost their leg. I can't believe I believe it to be honest. But you can carry more with me. My, 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 my dear boy. You know, suddenly a familiar face appears. Solas! <laughs> 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 Solus felt the cries for help and teleported himself to the island. That's not how it happened. No, he was just wasn't alone, was he? He came on a boat or something. It also wasn't an island. I think he was in the area. Oh yeah, he just walked there. Oh my goodness! I think he ran. So it was more a. I'm sorry. What was the Rosewood and <laughs> well, he wasn't at Rosewood. He left Rosewood for a while. Yeah, he almost left for a while. Because of personal reasons, and then he showed up. Yeah, good job! Blood searing wave. Stomp on it. <laughs> Woohoo! He don't even have a searing wave just to be sure. It <laughs> did not look like action. That's him, that's him personal. Execute him! Yeah! Oh, yeah. 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 Hey, no, wait, I can't do that. It's the thing that Solus does. Yes. Yeah. Huh. Oh, why is Solus not here to see this? Oh, spectacular. Drag. Hey, I didn't butt scoot. Oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> you had a stick and everything, Lefaro. Yeah, Caden you know. carried me too. Thanks, Caden. Uh, oh man, that's an accurate depiction of how Riff's beasts disobeyed. Yes, they slide away. Well, I mean, depends if they're still in. So but kicking ass at the opportune moment is not. definitely legit. <laughs> it's not over yet, folks. I'm just gonna consult in the back quick. Should be that was that was the first half of scene number four. <laughs> 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 oh. 
There's a part two. As they recover. It turned the complete wrong direction, mate. Okay, yeah. Okay. Eco seems to be getting really tired. <gasps> Actaris picks up a fish. Fish, you can have like an actual fish. <laughs> pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I just wanted to the mother fish. Actaris slaps Yiko with a fish, giving him permanent brain damage. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, is that what went down? Is that what happened, Yiko? You lied to me! Let's go! Wait, where did he get the details of your Oh, this is genius! What do you mean, Octurus hit me with the fish? We were on the dogs and you were hit by a fish because you were falling asleep. It's a spectacle. Now, Actaris raises his hands in the air and moves a very big rock to block the path of the Rift Beasts. This is. That was. It will be enough to slow them down. My reaction. Oh my God! Live your license. Go with the rock. Where the rock is walking on stage. <laughs> yeah, rock. For this performance, Lafron will be playing the role of the rock. It's the rock. Whoa! It's the Woo! Lay on the ground. You're nailing it, LeBron. Yeah, that works. He's really good at this. Uh, you say he's, like he's rocking this. So the path is in block, fighting must oh, wait, continue. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the actor might be quite stoned. No more can come. <laughs> but that's not true, they go around like that. <laughs> uh, uh, You're doing great, with, great, with Ron. You're doing great. Burns through Sipia. I think we share that bitch. Just me. I remember that day well. Me too, because I heard a lot. Suddenly, an explosion is heard. The bomb in the city goes off. And finally, the ships arrive to save the day. The Rift Beasts are killed. And a victory celebration must be had by all. I don't really know if there was much to celebrate. <laughs> we won. That's all that matters. That's a stretch. Yeah, I think they did it. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Is that the end? Exit stage oh. back. Yay! <laughs> uh, yay! yay! Three months ago. Would all the uh, actors please come out on stage, uh, in or out of costume, and and bow? Uh, <laughs> oh. We made a lot of those costumes. I'm not going to our wonderful cast tonight. Absolutely fantastic.
Thanks for the wonderful Rock LeBron. Are they fighting? Thank you all. Thank you all for coming. That'll be the end of the performance. Uh, it, it was free, so don't worry about it. Thank you. I can't pay my own money. Oh, something. Yeah, I didn't remember 1v1 in an elder, but I sure you did. I don't think I did. Yeah, good job. I very much nailed the costume. I couldn't tell who the real Luca. Wait, what do you mean you couldn't tell was the real Luca? Well, they're so identical, didn't you see? Like you're looking in a mirror. No. <laughs> no, well, they, I don't know how they did the hair so well. <laughs> but, uh, hmm? fist bump. You want a fist bump? Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. Can you see out of that? Hair? Wait, you. Murtash got the hair? Murtash? Wait, how did Murtash get your hair? So you knew nothing of this, I right? don't know. I don't want to think about it. But, uh, well, yeah. I, well, I, so I still in the mirror. Taking this. Look at that ale. You shouldn't drink so much. Look at. Yeah, is that actually mine? That's better. Is, oh, is that mine? Yeah. I can't. Yeah. I don't think it is. Okay, I don't think it is. Yes, exactly. And you, look your counterpart! Come down and deal. Show yourself to your counterpart. Are you God, look how identical it is. Really is just see, see, look, and look, see, you can't tell the difference. Look, big and deal, tiny and deal. You cannot tell the difference. Can we take them to battle? Can we battle with them? I don't think so. Sorry. Of course. Oh, I would also ask something from you. I've said that. I'm gonna fall for you in a second here. Funny. You guys, did you always have glasses? Yeah, I guess I have poor eyesight or something, and I am required to wear these. Ah. Let's go for Stu Hunt to bed outside. Oh my god, you hit against the wall when everyone else was missing up. You! What? I am not even- I'm not- I am not a goldfish. Sure you are. If that was you or someone else, entirely accurate. I see what I'm doing, I'm heading into the wall, I'm heading into the wall, I'm heading into the wall, I'm heading into the wall. Right, yeah. Oh, give him a piece of food. I might need someone to dab some water on me. I feel a little fuzzy. No joke. Just let me just say that we're going to be able to do that. How much did we do? I think we're going to be able to do that. I think we're going to be able to do that.
watery stuff. Something like that. Also, being the first one, the invader was so weird. Right? So we want to extend you. Where did you get yours? What? Oh, um. Okay. And where did you get yours? I, I got mine from from Brian from, from from. Where is he? Um, Caleb. I, I suppose I'll let you know when the time comes. I don't really know how it works. Sounds good. The worst part is. Uh, it seems like kind of rude. Now I know where the poop is. It's sad from the cold a bit. I'll come back here later. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm going to try to grab it. Okay. Hammer! That's me! Hi! Hi! I was not. I was sitting. I was. Yes! Hey. Hi! Hey, what's bourbon? Bourbon! Uh, it's a drink! Do you think there is actually a chicken rift? Do you think they have it here? Um, uh, ma maybe, but you shouldn't have any more alcohol. You're, you're really bad with alcohol, Oh, I'm not that bad. <laughs> good, good. Yeah. Yes, you are. I believe that's meant to be an owl there. <laughs> oh, Luca! Oh, God dang it. Ow. Are you okay? It's uh, I hurt my arm pretty bad. Ah, oh, goddammit. Ah, you'll be fine. You're not gonna lose your arm. It's just a bit of a scratch. Yeah, it's just a scratch. You'll, you'll survive. You're a big guy. You'll survive. <laughs> Yeah, I'll be okay. Oh no, look, look, an owl bear! <laughs> Very scary. <laughs> yeah, get him! Get him, Kayla! <laughs> oh, oh, come on. Absolutely. Okay, how about we get you to your dorm? Okay, how about that? I'll be okay. I'm not that drunk. It was only one glass. A, one big glass. I think you took like half of it. One tiny little glass. <sighs> Come on, crap. That's good. Okay. I have no idea. This is the way out. I think so. I think you just gotta. Oh yeah, it was the way out. Oh ah. god, dark. It got real dark. Make sure he's walking in a straight line. <sighs> So, uh, not oh. that I want to rush you all, but it mm. is really Anyway, cold. come on, I grab. Could, uh, continue this conversation so uh, we won't. Okay. Of course. Oh. Damn it. I'm not jealous. Do you look jealous? No, I'm not jealous. Ah. Uh, you good? Was it wrong? Oh, no, no, that was not. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to be fast faced. For, yes. You're always fast. That's true, I am always fast. Isn't that funny? <laughs> oh god. Yes. Hmm? Let... You're acting kind of weird. No, 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 it's a... Hey, Murtesh. Hi. A great show! Did you guys have bourbon down in your thing? I think so. No. I was told I should try it. Hmm? You can try it when you sober uh, you up. You probably get, get... get back home safe. Yeah. Oh. Fine. Great show. Loved it. Masterpiece. 10 out of 10. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, that was a great show. It's all, um, it's all in the Ferrari, Ferrari actors, yeah. Oh, yeah, the Fedoras. But, um... You weren't, like, breaking into our dorms and stealing our loose hair, right? What? what? For the wigs? That's crazy. <laughs> oh, no! You, you weren't doing it, right? That's such a crazy thing to say. He fucking did. You, yeah, yeah, but you haven't denied it. You haven't been doing it, right? What do you mean I haven't denied it? What? Doing, doing, what? What? <laughs> you, you didn't really do it, did you? No, I mean, I, mean, I don't understand. Mm, okay. Let's keep going. How about that? <laughs> Okay, yeah. Ah, uh, aqua team member, right? 
I think it's Umbra. I cannot Tigani. see for the life of me. Tigani, see you like. Yeah, this is Umbra. All right, it, save at the door. Where are my keys? It's not oh, locked, Luca. Oh, it's shoot. not. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Want to come in? Yes, we we just That's opened sure. the door. Hi. Hey guys. Hi. Do you guys mind if Hi. we have a quick talk? Mm. Quick like, talk? Could go upstairs for a minute. Oh, uh, I guess so. Let me get a torch. I just thought I'd bring him here. Oh, on. wait, no. Luca. Nice. No, no, Luca! Ah! Okay. Cold, Luca, you just told me I could have gone it! So cold. It's so cold. Yeah. It's so cold. I'm so slow. Oh my lord, uh, Luca! Do your dawn quickly. So We're working cold. on it. Look for the love of God. Oh, oh, so cold. Uh, oh, so cold. At least in my eyes. Can we? Can we get inside? <laughs> Ah, thank okay. goodness. I'm just gonna squeeze by you guys. Away. <laughs> I for okay. God, Upstairs. my everything. God, I forgot my gloves and my head. Where's Caleb? In his room? Uh, I'm in my room. Oh, okay. okay. Do you mind if we come in? Wait, what? Sure. Hey guys. Wait, 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 so who one of you is Tango? What are you guys oh, wait, talking about over that? there? Sorry, In uh, secret. I I don't know. Uh Eco is his voice is uh, uh, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Okay. No, he going to bed, never mind. Oh, we can leave. What? I no, I I don't know. What's wrong with them? Uh, are you going to bed? Okay. okay. Um, Do you need anything? <laughs> well, that's too bad. Gonna tuck them in. Right. Yeah, that's nice of you. You're a good friend, Caleb. Yeah, uh, uh, thanks. I, um, yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to go, um, start looking. Um, I'm gonna be with the pumpkin patch, uh, so if I go missing, I was with him last. Oh, what are you gonna go do? Uh, chart the stars. Hmm, okay. Uh -huh. Let us know if he does anything suspicious or asks you any weird questions. Wait, what? The stars? Um, Got it. We'll do. This is a... Good. Alright. There was an event, um, and they thought they'd dress up as us for some reason. Oops. Luca, don't jump, please. There was a party. Lu Luca, this please. Up. No, you please. Know, up here. Please. You're gonna fall. What? Luca, I swear. You're gonna f get down. I have perfect balance. No, you don't. You were drunk. See? Luca, get down. I'm not drunk. I'm only like one drink in. Uh, Luca, you're gonna fall. You're gonna break something. I'm not gonna fall. Uh, a grab uh, tail. You're, uh, you're gonna fall. Way to... huh. Oh, my tail. This is center of my gravity. <laughs> Oh! Oh God! Ow. Oh, Luca, are you okay? I'm so sorry. Mm, my forehead. Oh, Luca, I'm so sorry. Thank you. Ah! Oh! Ow. Are you okay? Oh God, I'm so so sorry. I had my head on the banister. Are you, are you okay? Oh, how would you do that? I'm so sorry. I I didn't I didn't I didn't think. <sighs> I I'm so sorry. Hey, let me let me look at you. I'm sure it's. Are you okay? <sighs> Oh god, I'm so very sorry. I think so. 
I, I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I didn't know. That's okay. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, Hi, Professor. Hi. Greetings. Um, Enjoy. We're just, well, they're having a private conversation. You can come up here if you want. Um, that is quite all right. Be I do not careful. Want to um, What's he saying? Young Emma, when you... When you have a moment, I wish to speak with you. Yes. Oh, you want to speak to me? Oh, you want to speak to Emma? Yes, and you're going to Wait. bed. I'm not going to bed. It's you're too okay. early. Hmm. You got it. I think I will come up there, actually. Oh. Hmm? I'm... Stay right there. Don't you pout at me. Okay. Well, all I need is some water. I'll be okay. Good. Mm. Is <laughs> is the team is the is the team captain under the influence? Yes. Uh, only a little bit, sir. It's evening time, so we oh. have leave. How much has he very above? Okay. I'm No, I've had one cup. I just don't handle it very a well. Big cup, Luca. It was an orc sized cup. I had I had half of that. That's still a lot. So maybe like four cups. Uh check myself. Uh oh. Ooh. Very low blood alcohol content, but he uh, definitely looks very drunk. Uh, mm. uh. What the... He will be alright, I guess. What did you do? Yeah, see? Oh yeah, what did you do? It's part of my design. What? This little doodad in my eye, it can tell Dude. quite a bit of information if I, uh, if I am able to recall it. It sort of, in a way, remembers for me. Damn, that's smart. Hmm. Yes. That's pretty neat. So, regardless, um, don't let me keep you from which one is L Lucas room over there. oh I'm over there hmm no question why I know it well as I said I wish to speak with you for a moment Actually, but one more thing. I'll let you continue on doing what you, which what you are I will just meander around here it's okay I can go do something else um, well, it seems like that her objective was to put you to bed. Mm. I'm sure you've. I'm not ready for bed. It seems quite bad. Are you aware of the nightmare? I'll be fine. Have your talk. I mean, is it a private talk? Is it Apotech talk? Because he was part of Apotech. I think it could grow into a rather private talk. Oh, I don't like where that's going. It, it's yeah, something I did. It if it's is. because of all the tools that's laying in the Apotech you room, are... it's not me. I'm pretty sure it's Val. I'm basically 99% sure it's well. Val. Feel free to have a talk. I'm going to go get mm. some water. Don't drown. You do that. You are not in any trouble. Do I not won't. worry. Good, but still those what tools. I'm pretty sure it's Val. Nothing. I oh, those tools are meant secrets. for you. You are allowed to do whichever you want. Although it'll only annoy me just a bit, but regardless. Did you get drunk uh, at the event again? I guess only a little bit. Um you choose the destination. Bit, huh? I have no particular 
I do all right in mind uh, of why I want this I don't think talk he to happen, anymore. but uh, regardless. So, uh, I'm him again, not sure. It's too cold outside to do it there. And he seemed happy to uh, uh, guess my answer to that. go to the terror, I don't know. I know the things. other members are back here. fine. Oh, that's good. Mm. Happy to hear. If you... I feel like we could get along. Just need some work. Mm. There was a mm -hmm. sort of place nearby oh. here, is it not? Something that's like quite like a hangout uh, spot. Yeah, we could go there. Not for a second. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I feel as though we will be. <sighs> there might be a sort of sensitive subject that I touch upon. Uh. Okay. Ow. I'm just being candid. I'm not trying to psych you out. Mm-hmm. Careful. I I think that uh I think Ventus is hard scouting. Is a well too. I see Cal talking yeah. to her a lot. I already I extended her the invite though, so there's that. What is it, Bella? I'm gonna guess we got to her. Umber, first, thank you for your hospitality. And we the spears they like. You got it. And Jill, keep an eye on him. I will be back. I'll be okay. Promise. You don't like the cold, correct? Uh, yeah. I don't mind the cold, but I forgot my gloves and everything in the Nickness. Uh, oh. Stay under. Uh, sure. So is this all Apotec stuff? Well, yes, that is correct. Ooh. So is it fueled by your mana? To speak quite honestly... Mm. Also, just my way of feeling. Mm. I used to have wings, did you know that? No, really? I can't tell if you're being sarcastic. I, I, I was kind of being sarcastic, but not in a mean way, but I, I assumed you had wings at some point. Yes, I plucked my own feathers out for this. Oh, that's uh, some dedication, I guess. It was to make me better. I guess. <laughs> oh, please. Allow me, actually. Oh, oh no, I got it. I got it. Okay. Here's a place. I... Unsure if there's a sort of spot that you'd rather be close uh, to the fire. I'm I'm fine with whatever. I'm just mostly curious what is this all about. Again, it is nothing terrible. Also, what the fuck well, is with the texture in here? It is not meant to harm you, that is for sure. That's much appreciated, sir. Mm. I look <laughs> I wanted to apologize for what happened in the arena. Well, not specifically what happened to the in the arena. But I guess if my if my actions towards you was Unwelcome, I just... Hmm. I just... <laughs> you were... Quite enjoyable to talk to while on the boat, and... While I underestimated you on the boat, I again underestimated you right then and there for a different reason. It's similar to what we talked about, about a quote-unquote bird being ex experiencing 
hardships. Do you remember? I remember. I only wanted you to, well, wanted to get you out of that situation. Or if you, <laughs> sort of reverse it so that you might never experience that. It'll be on. I mean... So that's why I'm apologizing. In the end, there's nothing for you to apologize, and... And nothing you can do about it. I don't think in the end, any one of us can avoid it. Either we've already seen someone get killed by Rift Beast, or we will see someone get killed by Rift Beast. That's just how it is. Do you honestly believe that? Emma, yeah. I heard you. When I stood next to you, you talked to yourself. In that moment. Do you still blame yourself? Most of my life, I've been bad at a lot of things. I was never good enough for anybody. And I think that just that one time getting in terror, I felt like I was actually doing something right. Skyya told me to check on that box and I did it. So knowing that <sighs> I just feel like I should just have looked at that box one last time before getting off the boat. Then maybe that would have done made a difference. You know, Emma, I watched you check on that box multiple times. I don't think there was a single inch that you didn't leave undiscovered. You, ch you looked at every nook and cranny as if it was something you haven't seen before. Just to make sure that you didn't miss the spot. That could have been tampered with. <laughs> I'm surprised you still see that after knowing people you surround yourself with. I'm pretty sure they said something similar. Or did you not tell them yet? What do you mean? If you still blame yourself, then part of me believes that someone did not get to you to talk about this before I did. Or you did not choose to share this information with one of your peers. The reason I am also I'm also coming to you about this, is because I saw your reaction when we talked in the Aether Tech lab. That did not go unnoticed. I saw how you reacted when I said we must go back. It wasn't a bad reaction. But it told me at least this much, that perhaps no one has sat down with you like this. I don't really care if we need to get another riff beast or whatever. I feel like we should deal with the situation here first. Someone is literally sabotaging everything here. First the lock, then the boat. Can't be a coincidence. So if we were to go and get another riff beast and everything's good and dandy, I then what is the chance that that won't be getting sabotaged as well? I agree. Forgive me, I should have set a precedent that I did not plan on 
doing this up until something of this whole case came into light. I merely wanted to sort of amplify the motivation. Sort of get people caught in the moment to also psych each other up. Happiness and motivation can carry a long way. But I did not mean for it to be at the cost of you. No, it's not about me, sir. It's not. It's about all of us. About what we can do to make a difference. You are included in, the, in that all. Yes, but it's not just me. <laughs> all represents unity, working together, and ensuring that nothing goes wrong. Much like the cogs and gears and circuitry, if all do not fit, if all aren't shapened or up for the task, then it doesn't work. That's not to say you're holding us back. I want to be Everyone good enough. In their own. Hmm. I assume that this is similar to some sort of treatment you had before. Yeah. More reason why I left and joined Terror instead. I have no place in how Ventus speaks to you. I was not there for that. I remember you mentioning it, though. It might not be that you weren't good enough, but perhaps you weren't a sort of gear in their mechanism. That's no one's fault. It isn't yours isn't theirs. Our people just don't fit together. But I digress. You should at least not blame yourself with Skyrim's death. And I'll do my part to figure out who did it. Well, at least trying. Hmm. And what will you do when you figure it out? <laughs> Mr. Degree asked the same thing. I'm not sure. Mostly I just want to beat him to pieces. But that's just because I know murder's not gonna do anything. And not gonna justify anything. I want him to pay for what he did. Or her, or whoever did it. I need to pay. If it's getting beat up and put in jail for a lifetime or whatever, I don't know. It needs to be done something. I agree. Hmm. 
then as much as it pays, pains me to say everyone on that boat is a suspect including the people in this room including you I'm not ignoring that I fully expect someone to look at me as if I've done it And in turn, I guess I shall do the same. But I was watching you. I don't think not once have you did anything that could potentially harm that lock. That is the key factor that was met, that was tampered with. But I can't let everyone know that, otherwise they will think that I am trying to cover up for you. At least in my eyes, or I, <laughs> I know you didn't do it. I can't say the same for the rest. I haven't really found any evidence of anything. But people have said that the investor looking a little bit too cozy about here. A little bit too comfortable mm -hmm. with the whole situation. So he was gonna be my first lead for now. It is a good place to start, regardless. I believe the Lady Alea Rosewood is planning on doing a scrying. I'm unsure for what reason, but I have some inkling of a feeling that it is for this moment especially. Oh, through that they might gather some information that we did not know. And with some luck, we'll figure it out. I hope so. Don't need any more things to get tampered with, or more people to get hurt. Mm. So, tell me. What was it that... made you make that face during the Aether Tech um, proposition? I guess it just, everyone was just so ready to jump in to the mission to go get this rift beast. I felt like everything that just happened had just been forgotten, just swept under the rock like it never happened. And with someone who's going around tampering with things still going around, then the chance of it all just happening all over again is Fairly big, in my opinion. I guess it's just a feeling that someone's dead can be forgotten so easily. When the situation is still not being dealt with. Yes, I was quite surprised that certain people moved on within not even a day's notice. Some people, I guess, have grown used to it. And it saddens me to know that most students of your age have grown quite the thick skin for those types of incidents. In the end. I believe your legs fell asleep. Yeah, I can, I saw. I mean, in the end, I can't blame them with all the shit happening all around us. A lot of us have seen some shit. And those who haven't, will probably end up seeing some shit. 
That's just how it is. Most of us have in the chair. Yeah, I know. <laughs> should we move to? Sh should we? That's what I mean. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's, that's good. I think Go I'll... on. <laughs> I think most of us have looked up in the eye at least once in our lifetime. If it wasn't at the mission, then it was probably at home before getting here. So maybe people are just that used to it by now. I will mourn the dead with you. I did not know her for as long as you did, but I could tell she was a strong individual. Yeah, she's kind of the aunt that I wish I know had. Her? <laughs> oh, tell me, how do you remember her? That I may also. Not forget that that's that's how she was. Yeah. <sighs> Very strict lady. But always seemed to have her heart on the right place, that's for sure. Any fond memories you have of her? Not really. But in a way, I always knew I had her in my corner. Whenever things got really messed up with Ventus, I could always count on her. Even though I. I never got the help that I probably should have asked for. Will you miss her? Yeah. I'll... I'll miss knowing that when things get really bad... Then... I guess I could always come to her. <laughs> In a way, it's probably just a missed opportunity. Again, she was like the end that I wish I had. Someone's out there. You said someone's out there? Yeah. I so saw some, some, someone walking by. I could go check if you'd like. Let me see what is up. There's nothing behind this uh, building. There is an alcove for some reason. Alcove? Oh. Is. Excuse me. Murtis? Student. Hey, what's up? Murtis, what are you doing? Hello. Oh, I'm just walking. Well, okay. Yeah, that's it. Um, I was just honestly walking. I was checking out a hole back there. See if anything was in it. There's not. Oh. We're safe. There's uh, a hole back there? Yeah, there's like a little cave entrance thing there, but it leads literally nowhere. Somewhere I used to go to have private talks. Like once. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Oh. Um. Yeah, it doesn't do much. That's. I assume so. Huh? Nothing. Nothing. I was just thinking out loud. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, ominous is all oh, that's hell. good. You know, thinking's good. Too bad if you weren't thinking. Mm. Um. You're, you're other not... than that, um, I don't think anything's behind here. There's something you're looking for other than walking. Uh. Nah, I was just thinking. Well, yeah. But hmm? what? what uh, uh, no, I was just. just yeah. Just, sure, you guys are busy. No, it's fine. I'm. I'm I was just having a done. chat with her. Yeah, I think we, we were done with our uh, conversation. That's good. Oh, okay. So, this is just the butt end of the conversation. Yeah, I mean, I'm, yeah, conversations are nice. Merchant, when did you have the time? When did any of you have the time to make that the uh, thing? Oh, the the performance at the at the lighter. Uh, we oh. worked on it for the last three three months. Uh, Gelo made the costumes. Uh, I helped with the costumes. I got the events of things written down from somebody who's actually there, and then Simple. I and I transcribed that with help. Huh? It seems like everyone and their mother knows out of this. Why didn't I to know about that? Trust me, I didn't know about uh, it either. It was a very spur of the moment, grab whoever's around for it thing. Originally I had a select people invited, but then uh, a professor had their head decapitated and it got cancelled. So I was like, oh, we'll just bring anyone who's around. Don't worry. Maybe you'll get an invite to the next um. one. Um, yes, I guess I do hope so, but... Right, Liz, yeah. I think I saw one of the Madaris dressed up as Yiko. I assume it's always for that. Oh, it was. Yeah. Wait, did they... Oh, oh shit, did they escape? Oh, oh wait, shit, escape? Yes. Oh, um, shit. One of okay. them is currently sleeping in Yiko's bed, I believe. Oh, he's Posing trying to replace Yiko. Yiko. Why do you... Why do you know this? Wait, what? <laughs> because I was standing in front of Umber, waiting to talk to Emma, and then that one came by, and I was surprised. I almost thought it was actually Eco. Uh, how? I... Well, I didn't. I didn't ex exactly s expect a Falari to have Eco parts on him. But they're pretty good. The costumes. Yeah. Yeah, Gallup, Gallup did really well in the in the tail and the ears, and the hair is you know it's you know it was pretty authentic. Almost like it's almost like it's straight from the source. Where did you get those almost hairs like from? People lose a lot of hair without realizing it, Emma. Uh huh. Right. Anyway, we we're just standing here in the cold. Maybe we should go inside. It doesn't bother me that much. Uh, well, then I'm gonna the go. Wing wing short sleeves. Yeah, I I I forgot my my everything in in your thing. So tomorrow I'm gonna go pick that up. Actually. Unless I can go get it now. Get, get what? My gloves. My hats. Well, I don't know where those are, so... In your secret bunker! Oh, you left them down there? It's a yes. secret? It's a bunker? Oh, we don't lock that thing, so don't worry. We don't have a way to lock it. It's actually dangerous. Uh, yeah. Okay, I... I'm gonna try and find the hole again okay, somewhere. You can, go, you can go ahead. I'll try. Yeah, I'm sure you can find the hole. 
No, it's a secret. You don't know where it is. Don't worry about it. Oh, oh god. Uh, hole. Uh, oh no. Okay, it was, um... I was in the bush somewhere. Tree? I wasn't... <coughs> Aha! In three months? I mean, three months that is a long time, but god damn! Whew. Okay, where did I. Um... I don't remember where I put it, I'm just gonna. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I really need to do something about all these tuckles. <laughs> ah, cozy. Is that it? Um, okay. I'm just... <laughs> I'll just put that there. Um, alright. But what did I have to try to dig the whole thing? Wait a minute. Oh, is this just a... Might just be the basement and then... Oh. Uh. Uh. Okay. Well. Probably check on Luca. Knock knock. Hmm. Probably went to bed. Oh, fucker. Probably see if they there's something. Okay, no, they left. Okay. All right. It's a good job you did today. Or king. That is fun. You get fat. A god king. Yeah, and then it won't run. And then and it then won't go anywhere. More rabbits when you do kill when it. Okay, um, give me the rabbit back. You're right, you don't, yeah, you, no, I don't trust you with a rabbit anymore. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I'm going to return to my dorm. Jackson, do you think you're an escort? Wait, um, Lefron? Uh, oh. yeah, yeah. Has he seen Gil about? I, I can, can help you a little, so don't worry. Uh, uh, not recently, no. I haven't seen him since... I don't want to intrude, Captain. Right. I'm not gonna question that. Tell me how I know it. <laughs> no, just talking about rabbits. It doesn't look so much. Hmm. God, it's dark in here. That was probably went too weird. Too early for me to go to bed. I mean, I say that, but I don't sleep. Uh, it's actually something I gotta work on. I got a little thing planned, and I'm gonna. I don't want to stand here. Gonna go. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go about and. Uh, Right, uh, I'm working on a thing. A little, a little laughing. So I can hopefully deal with Emma not sleeping and her fucking paralysis demon. Remind me, did they <laughs> move my painting in Ventus? I don't know. Hmm. 
I assume they did. Such a shame. Caleb? Okay. Assume the moo moos are good. Well, what was I? Right, so I can deal with my sleep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got a little bit working on it. Gotta write a whole lot of stuff. Well, not a lot of stuff, but I, but I gotta write some stuff down and then give it to the mods at some point. And I can also <laughs> put in with my gun and the. Uh, Whole, uh, uh, they attach my uh, A for right. Being my ding a dick. Uh, hopefully, I can do that. Because if I can get that dealt with, only somewhat dealt with. And I don't have to go around and. and be like, oh, I don't sleep. What? Sleep? I don't know what sleep is. And then we could get a good fucking night's sleep. She'll probably be the only one sleeping in Ventus then. Not Ventus, goddammit. Yeah, Terra. I forgot. Um. What's that? Because Terra fucking don't sleep. Well, I think. Solar sleep? Well. What the fuck was that? Uh, um, excuse me? Uh, another one. L Luca? Uh, ah. What? Uh. Uh, nothing? Nothing! That doesn't not look like nothing! I'm fine. What are you... What are you nothing, doing? Nothing's happening. You I'm just... I'm, uh... Just doing a thing. A, a thing? Yeah, I can see! That's that's a thing! What? What? What did... I'm not... Do you want to see it again? God damn it, I kind of do, yeah. Okay. I still can't do anything with it. It's not working like it's supposed to. This isn't the end effect. Okay. But I haven't been able to do it yet. It's something my dad used to do a lot. <sighs> but he never taught me how, so I'm just going to have to learn it trial and error. <laughs> oh. Uh, ow. <laughs> okay, that looked pretty goddamn cool, but I think you should stop now. You were what? I've only backlashed three times. Three times? Yeah, it's just a second level spell. Yeah, but surely it can't be good to relapse so many times. Also, I mean, I've been fine so far. You're starting to look like a Fadari. Mm -hmm. You're really dirty. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But, uh... Anyway, um... It's really important to me that I learn this thing, you know? So I've just been, been trying really hard. I, I can tell. Like... You're really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> mm. I think maybe once I get my sword done that it'll help I'm making it so I can channel my affinity through it better hmm. yeah yeah it's what Philly has been helping me with while you've been gone Well, the, the, the whole mm -hmm. affinity, I did hear about that. Uh, you gotta really chant it from inside of you, something, something like that. I don't know. 
I'm learning. Mm-hmm. I, well, I was always told it was like an electric affinity, but every time I tried electric stuff, it always failed. So I started doing something that Neller taught me before he left, and it's been working, weirdly enough. Hmm. But I was never able to find out from him what my affinity was. Eh. Hmm. Surely you can ask another teacher about it. Yeah, I guess now that we have that other Aether Tech professor, maybe he'll know more. Me. <sighs> funny guy. Real funny guy. <sighs> um. Well, how are you doing? Um, you know, had a good old fashioned talk with a Aether Tech guy, so you know. Oh, yeah, what was that all about? Uh, just about the whole things happening right now, you know, and the the things we're going to be working on in Apotech, you know, the whole shebang of ding a dang mm, Why you specifically? That's what I want to know. I, I guess I just have a bit of a different opinion uh, about the, the whole situation, I guess. What's your opinion? I don't feel like we should go and get a brand new Rift Beast before we have dealt with the situation we are dealing with here. With like, mm. the lock being completely sabotaged. The boat being sabotaged as well. Yeah, that seems fair. And it, I feel like I just come around again and we get a new Rift Beast and then the whole thing would just happen again. Yeah, I mean, we definitely have to take care of that first. The, uh, sabotaging, that is. Yeah. I agree with you there. Mm. Any leads? <sighs> I've been snooping around a little bit. Anything new, that is? No, nothing new. I've been trying to snoop around. I'm trying mm. to get to top in the investor all day, but I can't get my hands on him. He always seems to disappear whenever I actually try to get my hands on him. So nothing. I also tried to have a look at the boat, but there was nothing there that I could find that looked weird. Mm. Well, besides that, it's been sabotaged, but... Yeah. Why would a person from the sunset whatever want to mess with us anyway, if we're all fighting the same war? I don't know. I... I know everything's not making any sense. We also can't discount the captain and those two bandits we hired like about, you know, three months ago or so. Yeah, I guess not. But so far I'm thinking about who ever been on the boat. Because surely it could not have happened while yeah. you guys were carrying it here. Oh, yeah. I said you checked the lock all yourself the entire time on the boat ride, right? Yeah, except that morning. Which I've... Hmm. Not your fault, hey. The point is, it could have happened on the way here. I just... Were those guys at the docks? I don't know, I just... I felt like everybody had looked at the box, or at least had some eye on the box throughout the whole time from the dock and over here. The only time someone would could have done it was like, Maybe while we were asleep on the boat. Or before getting here. Well, one thing's for certain. If they're able to use ice magic, and it's enough ice magic to incapacitate an entire galleon, and they're able to do some sort of maneuver, magical or otherwise, that no one noticed while the box was completely covered with eyes, it's got to be a powerful caster, right? Maybe. I haven't been able to hear what happened to the lock exactly. Since what Bedell hasn't been around. Because if I could, like, get an idea what yeah, happened, I just heard like... it was tampered with. Yeah, exactly. Like, could have been sign of uh, maybe knife? Someone been trying to pick lock it with a knife? Or was there some sign of magic? You know, anything could have been a nice clue. Mm. 
Yeah. Wait, maybe we should have that professor with the eye thing look at the lock. Hmm. I mean, yeah, we could. If he... I, wouldn't he already have? Or maybe... Hmm. Wait. He also came in on the boat. Yeah, that, that's what I was kind of was thinking. Maybe they wouldn't want him to get close to the lock either. But maybe if we did show him the lock, we could get him in a catch-22. You know, if he looks at it and he tells us the affinity, or, or tells us there is a magical presence and stuff, maybe that means he's more trustworthy. But if he says there's no magic, and then we go to a third source and see if they can identify it and say there is magic, one that we trust, right? Then we can catch him in a lie. I suppose so. But that requires us to get our hands on a log, and so far I have no clue where they hid it. I'll talk to the Chancellor. Mm, sure. Tomorrow. Yeah. Because right now... Just remind me, because I'm probably going to forget. I'll remind you, because right now you are really dirty. You should not talk to anybody right now. Yeah. Like, I gotta get cleaned up, don't I? You really do. Well, off to the bathhouse, I guess. Really, you're not gonna do it in your own dorm? I mean, we don't have a... I guess we do have a tub. Yeah. Huh, I forgot about that. Mm. You, you could get clean there. Although, of course, the water would probably Good be point. a lot colder. That's kind of what I was thinking. Plus, bathhouse is fun. That's true. I was already there before today with Solus. Oh, yeah? How did that go? I don't know. I told him to strip, and then he got in the pool. Ah! Oh. Okay. Yeah, he, uh, he was lecturing me about the whole uh, infinity stuff, but uh, oh, he got fire infinity, but when he uses fire magic, he needs to take the, the heat or something from somewhere else. And right now, there's not a lot of heat out here, so he's taking it from his own heat. So he said that he is not allowed to use a lot of magic right now. But Alice, he was going around using his magic to help a people out who was going around saying they were freezing. So he was losing a lot of magic and therefore also freezing himself. So I took him to the bathhouse so he could heat up. Gotcha. That's very nice of you. <laughs> yeah. Also got my, my toe beans uh, in the heat as well. Well, you got to. By the way, aren't they cold? Uh, and it's not too bad. It's gonna be worse after like the, all the acid and everything. But normally, I don't feel a lot. Mm, you should still get little wraps or something oh, for don't, your legs. Don't, don't you go there. I've told this to many people. I'm not getting shoes. Why? Don't you go there. Well, it's not like shoes, but like you know, like a little, little cough that you can put around like this part right there you know <laughs> and that's where my fur is that, that doesn't do anything well it's more fur <laughs> but i'm not really freezing with the fur it's more like under where I, with my toe beans oh right well you know maybe little leather strips that you can put on the bottom and then tie it to your feet <laughs> no it, it it wouldn't feel Stubborn right. Stubborn as ever. Stubborn as ever. But it wouldn't feel right. How would you feel mm -hmm. if someone just gave you a cloth over your face and told you that that's how you're going to wear now? That's how you're going to deal with it now? Hmm, I'd hate to do that. Yeah, that, that's how I feel with my toe beans. It just feels unnatural. I, c I couldn't imagine having to wear a mandatory face cloth covering mm. for any extended period of time. That'd be crazy. Mm-mm. Well, it's getting really cold now, um, and I don't think I'm going to make any more progress on my magic, so we should probably head back. Yeah. Besides, you probably shouldn't use hold up for backlashing. That's only three times. Yeah, but isn't there like a limit to how much you can do it? I haven't found it. <sighs> shouldn't test fate, Luca. You shouldn't. Hmm. But it, it's weird, because I always heard that, like, the more powerful the spell is, the worse the backlashes get, right? 
I I guess yeah. Weird. It, it, it's like well, I've been doing second circle spells now. And when I backlash on him, it doesn't feel any different from the, you know, first level spells. Huh. I don't know. I don't know enough magic mm -hmm. to, to say what that could mean. Oh, well. Maybe they were over-exaggerating. Uh, I don't know. Or maybe it only gets really bad at third level. Probably. I don't know. I don't... I do not do any form of magic besides when I use my gun. But I'm not really using magic, I guess. Mm. Sorry, I got something on my wrist. It's probably all the dirt. <laughs> Anyway, um, well, yep. I'm not really ready to call it a night yet. Really? You don't normally go to bed like... Yeah, I want to see if I can... Yeah, but I just don't have anything going on, so... I kind of want to talk to Ventus if they're around. I want to see who they're going to pick or who they're interested in. Uh, when I went around there, Ventus didn't look. They were out and about. Uh, Ignis looked like they were still awake and Lumen as well. Yeah, I think that was about oh. it. Oh, I guess we can check the dorms. Yeah. Dorms? Uh, dorms are purple, right. I... Wait, what the hell? Uh... I'm so confused. <laughs> Wait, these both look green in this light. Oh god, they actually do. Hold on. Oh, this one's purple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I hate those things. Ugh. Being a sphere can make it hard to tell color sometimes. Uh, um, actually, maybe you should clean yourself before going into one of the dorms. Oh, yeah. Good idea. Mm. Might just think that you're uh, a spooky, scary owl beast. Mm. Ooh. Owl beast? I don't look like an owl. Owl, but like an uh, owl bear. I don't look like an owl pair either. I know that the, the, you could, could kind of come off as a one in that show. Mm hmm, sure. Mm hmm. No, I don't look like that. <laughs> Second of all, that's not how my hair looks. <laughs> what do you mean? That's totally how your layer looks. No, it's not. What do you mean? It's like a. It's like light and it's fluffy. The only difference is that your hair's gotten longer. That's the only difference. <laughs> Come on, it was almost identical. I guess it was pretty good. It was really good. They did good with the costumes. Alright, I'll be right out. Yeah. <laughs> Watch behind the ears. You got it. <laughs> ah. you, you okay? Ignore that. Uh, uh, okay. Back at the institution. I remember uh, the aunt. She was trying to <laughs> quote unquote teach me to use a piano. Like a small one. The Look at 
we don't go. What? Whoa! What do you mean? What? They change. They're they're dirty. If, if, yes. But the 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 yeah. Never mind. What? Nothing. <clears throat> what was the thing? Yeah, she wanted to quote unquote teach Emma to play piano. And by teach, I mean she gave her some notes, say, learn notes. You got like a day. Next day, she expected Emma to know how to fucking play piano. Like fucking Mozart or some shit. Which, of course, Emma didn't fucking know how to do. She doesn't know how to play notes. <laughs> they all clean. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Uh, you're not trying to play that, are you? I I didn't notice that it doesn't make a sound. <laughs> yeah, it's a little broken. Uh, By a little broken, I mean it's really broken. Uh. That's fine, it's just... It reminds me of something. So... Mm -hmm. uh, back at the, uh, the institution... My aunt uh, mm -hmm. tried to teach me how to play piano. And uh, by teaching, she gave me a block of notes and told me to learn them by next day. Oh. Yeah. Then the next day she... Well, that's not a very fun memory. Uh, I don't have any good, fond or great memories of my aunt, especially not from the institution. So. Mm. Well, do you know any notes? Uh. Mm. Is hot miking or fushi? No, I don't. <laughs> That's okay. Me neither. I imagine this one sounds like bum 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 bum. <laughs> yeah, probably. You know, if it doesn't work, you can just kind of imagine that you're doing it right. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Cheating. <laughs> no one can tell you you're wrong. That is true. Oh, man. I could definitely tell if you were wrong. See, you had I for perfection. <laughs> hmm. Well. What do you think about my sonnet? Yo, wait, what? My sonnet! Sonnet? Yeah, this musical piece I'm playing. <laughs> oh, it's magnificent. Never heard anything more beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm pretty gifted. <laughs> You're really getting it. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm going to give it one more try to find Ventus. Okay, you do that. Then, uh, I don't know. I guess I could go back to Terra and see what's up, but... Didn't look like anyone was home. Oh. <sighs> Up. Let's go. Um, right. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. I can walk you back to your dorm. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Hmm. 
what do you think of the new recruits? Um, not really talk much with them, but they they kind of weird. Especially Vesper, he's really weird. <laughs> yeah, he's a bit of uh, he's a bit eclectic, I think. Yeah. Seems nice enough, I guess. Yeah. Also seems like the kind of guy you don't want to step your toes on. Right. On account of all the poison. Wait, poison? Oh, yeah. He's got a lot of poison. Oh. He creates a poison sword. He shoots oh. out poison gas clouds. Oh. It's kind of scary. It sounds scary. He's definitely going to Lumen. What? What is with everybody thinking Lumen is so scary? Well, it's... I mean, Val made a flamethrower yeah. that he put on his wrist. So it's it's effective. Yeah, but he put a flamethrower on his wrist. <laughs> yes, but imagine how effective it is. If at least this weather, what if uh, what if we uh, the gate uh, completely froze up but we couldn't get into, into the arena? Then whoa. He put well, out I'm not thrower. saying it's not useful. Yeah. I'm saying he has a flamethrower on command <laughs> that he can just... <laughs> anything he wants. If he wanted anyone to be toasted, then I'm sure he would have done it so already. So I'm sure it's, mm. it's fine. Mm. I guess so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Home sweet home. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then... I'll see you tomorrow, Emma. Yeah. See you tomorrow, Luca. And then... Try not to backlash anymore. For today, mm -hmm. at least. I'll be okay. Mm-hmm. Promise. Promise. Man. Now <laughs> I've got to really keep my word. Oh, yeah, you do. At least I didn't do this to you when telling you to eat potatoes. Thank goodness. Mm. But I'm still serious about the potatoes. I'm watching. <sighs> all right, all right. <laughs> well, um. Good night. <laughs> night. I'm still not getting used to this. <laughs> Emma, you need to man the fuck up. You gotta scooch up there. You gotta. Oh, ugh. oh god, it's so dark. You gotta walk up to the man and really scooch up. You gotta, you gotta. I don't know what I gotta do. <laughs> God damn it, Emma. What the fuck? You make, it, you make it look so easy. Just sway his uh, goldy locks in, in into your, your fawn and then uh, uh, mwah. It, it makes it look so easy. Why can't I? Why can't I not do it? It should be easy. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll show him. I got this. I got, I got this. What am I talking about? Of course you got this. It's me. <laughs> it's me. I got this. <laughs> yes, I got this. <laughs>